Look at all these likes for everything I found. And it's like, here I thought, the man who brought us, like, he, the man who introduced the world to memes in, in Sons of Liberty, right, who got us prepared for the idea of, like, everything becoming digital and ideas becoming digitally transferable and our whole generation becoming an online isolated uh, system where there's closed societies that just hang out and, and like sort of echo chamber, echo chamber each other. I thought that that person would want to get as far away from social media likes as possible. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but it's like, actually, life is all about likes. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Takabe said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges Corpse oh. Disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Sam refuses to physically connect to other people. <laughs> he creates distance. Dreamcast generator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. The language has already gone full Kojima on me. He's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? <sighs> then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? What? It's helping you. We'll be able to stay one step ahead of him. Oh, dear lord. Oh, is this your first time? <laughs> Makes me feel like shit every time. Rainbow. Oh, shit. <laughs> any sign... Any Much sign from... Of precipitation oh, is, like, the worst thing ever. That is not enough protection for your face, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh boy. Weren't you wearing your seatbelt? How are you driving and then you manage to get crushed by your own truck? Oh god, his face! Oh my god, it's so heavy, it's yeah. bending the truck. But it doesn't occupy physical space. It's just going through them. Like, it couldn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get to the incinerator in time. I guess that's the Keralium coming up. Oh, what? This, 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 all this shit. Oh no. Planned Parenthood is not gonna be happy about this. <laughs> He tried. Yeah, this, this is what got me, was the dude being carried away and being like, oh dear God, don't let me be alive. Trying to kill himself before he gets fucking taken. That. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means, dude. Oh, fuck no. Oh. <laughs> like, I have never noped harder. <laughs> <laughs> in my life than that type shit right there. Fuck off. They won't take me alive. No. Because it's worse. Whatever it is, it's worse to be alive. Be dog tags. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Like a cesarean scar. This man says he has a story he wants to tell you, and he shows you this is the first picture. <laughs> I'm all ears. <laughs> I'm like, yep, okay, you got me. You got me. Tell me more. Speak to me. Repatriation. Sam is a repatriate, meaning he can return to life from the place known as the seam when killed. In the seam follows a strand to guide Sam's soul to his body to bring him back. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so you can scan with your R1. Yeah. And you can repatriate with square. Oh, hell no. No, sure. <laughs> like, just <laughs> casually show them floating away. No problem. Christ almighty, dude. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. Okay, so if that's what happens every time someone dies <laughs> or shit just goes bad, uh, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> Call me dead man. I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course. Contrary to the name, I've never actually died. What happened to the CD, guys? Central Knot was obliterated in the Annihilation. Game over, man. Place is a crater. Thanks, Bill. The only ones to get it continue were you, for obvious reasons. And your broken bridge, baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central North City. Did he just say the We're baby was marked for disposal? I North think so. Now. Or should I say, our new headquarters? Sudbury seemed the logical choice. Sudbury? Huh. Uh, uh, this stencil is from when you repatriated? Uh, what's the other mark from? A clingy woman in a cave. Oh, 
Oh no, it's a ceiling crawler. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. The horizontal plane <laughs> is no longer safe in addition to the vertical. I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Hmm, I see. Affenphosmphobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could touch you. The truth, Sam, is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? You just won the Super Bowl, man. Come on. <laughs> Gotta see the president. Oh, fuck that. I'm protesting for the dead babies. Right? Tell me more about this marked for disposal child. I feel like a Gundam launch. <laughs> Sam. Hashid! Also, why you gotta put America in spider webs like that, man? Couldn't it be like something friendlier? Hey, spiders are our friends, man. You say that, but then there's the part of our brains, our reptile brain, yeah. that is averse to arachnids. And things with too many legs. That is creepy. So you have to go against your entire nature to say that spiders are our friends. It's like that friend that you don't want to chill with. You can only see like five minutes at a time or else you get like really annoyed. Because it might be poisonous. Yeah. It might be toxic. Toxic relationships. That's all it is. You know, there's a reason why our, our fucking ancestors like I said, were our afraid. Are all trending the same way. No chance of a recovery then. None that I can see. No. We should start making preparations. Sam, it's me, Dead Man. No. What are you doing? Sorry, my mistake. Is that the second coming That's of Christ the in the sky? Man, LOL. The director of bridges. <laughs> OMG. Die hard man. Oh, you were with Bridges one. So I guess no introductions are necessary. Damn. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. Look at us, huh? Who would have thought? It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Sam. I knew you'd come back. Are you doing all right? three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help Amelie, she needs you. Together, you you can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. 
Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. Does it deserve to survive? Not anymore. We do. Yo, Alone, we have no The future. shot of the IV drip in America's front of the flag. <laughs> what are you? You're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. What? Why would the whole machine fall over from the wires? Oh my god. Mom, you know how much I hate this. Mom, you know how much I hate this. Mom! So you are willing to help me? No, I... <laughs> God damn it. You know. I love you, Sam. I love you too, just get off me! <laughs> I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> Madam President! Shit. I didn't mean for that to be the last oh, line. No. <sighs> Doctor, we need your help! Damn, here lies America. Time of death. Man, that could have been Hillary. We're losing her. Could have been. <laughs> but if it did it, uh, it is <laughs> like if if it was, if history went that way, is this what would have happened? <laughs> Is this the way it would have worked out? Did we narrowly avoid the Death Stranding? Which future do you choose? Damn. You wanna talk about ropes, dude? You wanna talk about ropes? <laughs> oh wait, what? Oh, it's a projection. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. But the president's so yeah, body death. has to be burned. Which means if you commit suicide, city to the incinerator like, fuck you. compromised in the void out. Now the only way there is on foot, through the mountains. But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's gotta be BTs. This job has requirements. Tombs. Repatriate. So me. Why? Sam, you're already on the clock. Dude, just carry Not your mom's body. Done. What's the problem? Sam Porter Bridges. Your mission is to carry the corpse of your mother. The corpse of America. <laughs> like... Fuck! What? <sighs> Sounds normal. Just... Can you drop a heavier metaphor? <laughs> Literally? Right? The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be easy carrying a body up there. I mean, a coffin usually takes six. We believe that this country can be rebuilt. Okay, but she died though. America lives on. No. Together with Bridget's undying spirit. She is literally decomposing on my back <laughs> right now. At least let me hop this fence. Oh my oh. god, don't drop, don't drop mom. Don't drop mom. <laughs> Alright, steady. Can I no am I gonna have to go all the way back? Oh god. Thank oh. god. 
Thank God. Straight up. Press square to burn mom. X. Oh, wait. Ah! Uh. Objective one. Deliver the president's corpse to the incinerator. That's a screenshot for the ages. That's a fucking mission one objective if I've ever seen one. See you at the beach. You know, the last franchise outing we took with Mr. Kojima, the president was the final boss. Oh. <laughs> There's an old man with two katanas. Hmm. So yeah, I guess they have to like filter the uh, chirons, right? Because that's what you can't release into the air if you just burn the body on the spot. Uh oh. Chiralium density in the area is climbing rapidly. Heavy time fall is imminent. Get back here now. Can't I stay and wait it out? Sam, burn the other cargo while you're there. Oh, the baby. <laughs> You motherfuckers. What's this? BB-28. It's the unit Igor was assigned. It was hooked up to you when we found you in the crater. But why is it here? Because it's flagged for disposal. Central Knot's gone, and our headquarters along with it. Because that thing didn't do its job. It's all in Igor's logs. But it's still alive. Oh. It can't be repaired, and it can't survive outside the pod. Pity it if you want, but the decision has been made. It has to go. The director approved the order. Abortion commentary. Yep. <laughs> Dispose of Mommy America. Now dispose of this still living baby. Yeah, you see oh, the whole fuck. You see the size of that hole? Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. It is merely the idea that it can enter. That's actually, I keep coming back to that point because that's probably the scariest part of it. Sam, Sam, do you copy? Damn it, must have lost you in the blackout. Sam, what's your status? Chirelium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Must be from the bodies we couldn't get up to the incinerator in time. Comes with the territory, I'm afraid. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Do you think? 
Yeah, it's not about keeping the baby alive for moral, ethical purposes. It's because it's a tool. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Hmm. Don't wink at me. No problem. <laughs> okay. Oh my fuck. Shake it off. Shake it off a square. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh my god. Don't want the president to see you like that. What the hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Damn. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. Stop shaking it! We owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the president. Can we trust you? Like half a second ago, you wanted it gone. <laughs> disposed of. Can you really be trusted to hang on to this thing? Um, There's a toilet, but it's under construction. Oh yeah, we can't take a piss yet. Can we wash? Pee in the sink. No! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking animals. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. You talking to me? This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. Oh shit. Humbly. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam, you're here too. But that's nepotism. <laughs> that's, that, that's, <laughs> been ten family years first, since boy, saw each family other, first. Right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won and went west. I led them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. So I'm coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Oh, is that California? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out. The only other and coast Emily that matters. Was taken. <laughs> taken. I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. 
Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. Ooh. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. Don't touch me. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force. By men who tell them what to do. Who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. What'd you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. Oh, handcuffs are bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together. To form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work, setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a qubit. Hmm? This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the Cairo web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Stop shaking the Various fucking baby. Adjustments and fine tuning for Holy your benefit. Shit. Why did we just wake up on the beach? I mean, <laughs> I think it's maybe it has Sam. to do with him being undying. Maybe he keeps going back to the beach in his head because that's where the dead are. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, I'm not. The names are I'm so not. on point, like on the nose. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, Strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Don't touch me. Thousands of miles away. <laughs> But our bond still holds. You're free. I hate this. But we're still connected. It was already on my neck. Why'd you Don't have to take it off and have it? I have to put it back on now. Dumb useless moves. Just doing everything in his power to not like it's <laughs> <laughs> a sucker punch you right <laughs> don't touch me okay connected got it stranded stranding strands Super gross, but I'll think about it. It's like if anyone's gonna know not to do that, shouldn't it be your goddamn family? <laughs> you know? So it's like, <laughs> like, God. Ooh. Shit. 
Yo, wallpaper. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Damn, your hands are tied. President French name. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring chiral communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Wait a minute, we're not supposed to do that? Didn't you see Jurassic Park? Mm. 4.6 billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Will that work? Oh, maybe. Unstable. Stable. Oh, what? Uh oh. Wow. God, like, calculated. Look at us. This is how America is rebuilt. <laughs> One strand at a time. Holy! Oh, God. That's not what I meant to do. You're stressing the baby. Oh, you gotta rock your baby! Oh my god! L1 and down, and then square to suit the baby, and you rock your controller back and forth. That's it. That's it. Everything's okay. There you go. Oh my god, this is creepy when beyond the belief. the breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby. Oh cradle no. and all. What is happening? What a scary song. Is, is, is the baby okay now? The meter is full. Alright, so I think so. Guess you can stop soothing it now. I have now soothed my item. <laughs> Object has been... Uh, oh, whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh, oh. whoop, Object has been uh, soothed for maximum efficiency. Oh my god. <laughs> what a game. And this is just the beginning. Dude, welcome in Kojima. Okay? Like, your questions will not be answered. <laughs> there will be no explanation. And just deal with it. And this will be on the test. <laughs> All right. Yellow waters. Yeah. Once you have your balance yep. and your stamina and endurance. Oh boy. You watch. You cannot cross through Oh there. boy. What about over there? Yeah, I can go around with him. Stop oh. getting low. Bam, 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 bam. Oh no! That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the baby stress is increasing. <gasps> oh my god. Fuck this water, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. That means the fuckers are after you. Or worse. Oh shit. This is reassuring. Walk the line. I know you're mine. Well, I walk the line. Go. Man, the deck is acting up. BTs. Not that far away. 
right next to us. Do you have to hold your breath? Oh god, I'm so scared. <gasps> oh, oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn shake off, shake off, square, square, square. Okay, square, 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 square. Oh my god. Oh my god, square, square, square. I'm pressing it, 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 I'm pressing it. Fuck. Do we leave that shit? Well, I mean, maybe you get back to it later. Because this doesn't seem good. <gasps> oh dear lord. Fuck you. You sons of bitches. How do I get to my shit though? Is this gonna work? Oh god, I. Oh my god. Stamina decreased. Card will wait, will take more of a toll on you now. Yeah, 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 it seems safe. Right? Right? Oh, my stomach is churning. Cargo container ruined. Just fucking hold this ladder, man. Hello, hello. Right there. Okay. Hold one R R one, right? Where is it pointing? It's over there. There's black stuff everywhere, it's so scary. And I got a grip for balance. Yeah, we gotta stand up in the water. Oh, oh my god. shit. Oh god, oh god, oh Jesus. In, in the, the water! water. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? What the fuck? What? Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, okay, which way am I going? Uh, uh. Please run, please run. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's following you. Solid ground. Okay, that's good. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm not even thinking about your shit right now. Yeah, no, no, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Are we going backwards? Uh, maybe. Okay. And all your stuff is behind. We are literally running in the yeah. wrong direction. Okay, there's a big circle on the map, though. Yeah. Oh boy. We're out, we're out, we're out. Can we chill? We're out. Uh, I'm starting to cramp up. My shit. <sighs> this is the safe spot. You, you want to take a break? Yes. <laughs> oh my I'm god. Okay, what the fuck was that? Well... <laughs> that would be the BTs, I suppose, wouldn't it? Oh my god. Chutlun looking motherfuckers. Damn. Get those shoulders. Yeah. Oh, he's napping? Yep, straight up napping. Maybe you should put your hood up so that rain doesn't fall on you, buddy. Right? Because he knows what he's doing. Oh my god, alright, let's chill. Watch over Norman. Okay, how's the baby? How's BB? Alright, time to go. That is very relaxing music. Yeah. Also, I'll give it that much. You know when, like, you don't notice it's drizzling until it, like, hits you yeah. somewhere obvious? Imagine if, like, 
you took a couple of random, you know, stray bullet raindrops. It's in. Oh my god, the baby's good. floating upside down. That doesn't seem good. Temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Oh, fuck. Uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB. Granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a steel mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the steel mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Loading that old save file. Mm-hmm. Save corrupted. <laughs> to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Oh, looking better already. What a huge forehead. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxinia should set in much slower from now on. They're giving oxy to the kid? Listen, man. <laughs> oh, man. A tool is a tool is a tool. <laughs> should remember that BBs are just equipment. <laughs> Try not to get attached. What did I say? <laughs> Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. Cold. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition over is over. a year? And then... You're saying there's no way to keep my baby alive? You must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. Why do you... Fuck. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm gonna keep trying to connect with you. I don't like it! Respect my boundaries! Waiting for you. Come and find me. Alright, sis. Relax. I'm doing my best here. Hard being a single dad. You know? Especially when people are trying to touch me. <laughs> you see, different facilities have to work together. Sharing materials. Okay, so hold on a second. I can't do this emoji thing. Like I just realized that he's talking with emojis like we're around fucking messenger. Bro, can we keep it professional? Can I get a little like indentation saying, hey Sam, comma, break line, new line? Nope. Nope. And then he comes in your room and he's like, Hey, Sam, I sent you an email. Can you check it out if you have time, please? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. Like, you stopped in to tell me that you sent me an email? God damn it. Word. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately it's like pulling teeth getting him to make even the simplest delivery. Keeps bitching about being scared or not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. Even when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half his load en route. So yeah, that's why we're a bit short on materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll soon help us put that to rights. We're thumb, counting thumb, on you, Sam. God. Yeah, fuck George for not wanting to fight the beasts and monsters that cannot die. <laughs> Excuse me for being a UPS man. Who doesn't feel like outrunning Satan today? 
cool dudes use, use strings to parry, so I get it. Is that me? Yes, I hope. Like received from BB. What? BB liked my whistle? The baby has access Whoa. to Facebook? Yo, where's his Instagram? Zucker Zuckerberg, what the fuck are you up to? <laughs> Yo, we got baby Facebook. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Before its first words were ever uttered, its first likes were clicked. Is that my is that my blood? Yeah, there we go. Oh <gasps> look at this mother. Are you gonna strand it? Fine with strand. Yo, I am nimble as fuck for carrying that much weight on me. Give me your shit. Oh my god. Did you just rob this man? Run that shit. Chasing a cargo high. Cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles. And yeah, trucks. I was wondering about that. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. Oh. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them to the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. So this is what's so insane about that. Right, I heard that earlier, right? In a world where, the ru where everything is ruined, it's simple enough to assume that people want the good shit in the containers because they're trying to survive. Okay. Right? Anytime you go into a, a like apocalyptic situation, the hijackers, the bad guys, are gonna be just pirating people's shit. Because you're like, whoa, we don't know what's in there. Might be something good. Right? End of story. Might be worth something if I sell it. Might be material, might be booze, rum, whatever, right? In this case, the mules are not hijacking your shit because they want your shit. They're hijacking it because they want to deliver it themselves. Which is crazy. Like, they're high off of the concept of delivery. Which, to me, is proof that this is just Kojima's anime land slash video game land of, like... You know how in uh, Pokemon, Pokemon are the whole world and the whole world is Pokemon? Yeah. Like... There are no jobs that aren't that are not related in some way to Pokemon yeah. slash like life just revolves around it, right? There's no lawyer or accountant unless it's like Pokemon Court or whatever. Exactly, yeah. right? If you go to Gundam Build Fighters, then uh, people at bars are like serving gunpla to to girls to impress the, each other. You know what I mean? The world revolves around gunpla, right? Every world and cartoon game zone anime world you go to is a world where like the thing that the show is about is all that matters and in this world it's all about carrying things so the bad guys are not just like random ass people fighting to fucking steal your shit good job sam you think the usage of kilograms is gonna bug some people that are only used to pounds tough Well, my fault they were born in the wrong country. Listen, the one good thing to happen after America got destroyed <laughs> is so did the imperial system. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, get bodied. Time to recreate. Did you know that chiral is the Greek word for hand, apparently, or something along those lines? I didn't know that. People told me that. And apparently that's why everything's chiral related, because hands, hands, y'all. And this is our bridge. That's our bridge. You also have literally uh, having in science you have chiral molecules oh, that's that are a... mirrored, but they have different functions. Ah. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure that thalidomide, which was like a contraceptive, contraceptive in the 50s, that ruined a bunch of 
women and really made them sick. That was like a bad chiral molecule. Ah. Yeah. Nice bridge. Talk about literally having five on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and is that why it leads to like massive deformations? Yeah, like that, that? Led, that led to a huge bunch of issues. Because you're not a S rank. Because yeah, you're not actually. Uh... It, it's 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 like it's really weird. Just a mirrored molecule, different function, different properties altogether. Just inverted. Yep. And it makes for weird, Bravo, weird shit. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. Yeah, like you me. can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Hey, let's go. And this is the other side of the bridge. There you go. All right. So once you got the foundation, you throw it down, and then that's how you make a bridge. All right, hold that thought. No, 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 no. Put this away. Put this away. Collapse ladder. Hold the option. Super. Okay, a lot of X's here. Oh, you son of a bitch ladder. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Momentum. <laughs> How dare you? Get in. <laughs> You son of a bitch, dude. I thought it was gonna collapse and then join my... Why wouldn't it go right into my pocket? Yeah, what is... So, oh, this is Lost Cargo. Okay. And there's a dude. Oh! Hey, cool! That's another player. What's up? Oh, no, 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 no. Yo. Put that down. Put 134. That down. Put that down. Put that down. Uh, what about... Hold on a second. Let me just... Make it over to what this guy's doing. <laughs> and put it in the post box. Right? Because this guy is very, very cool and fortunately make helping us out by putting a post box right here where we need it. And it's raining hard right now. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, you a Spider-Man fan. Take this, oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Riki something, but he had the Spider-Man logo. Okay. Well, fucking get this super heavy ass shit off my back. Yep, your problem now. I walked five feet. I'll take it. <laughs> Hard work. It's kind of like, because the spirit of this of this mechanic is like meant to be like, you can do the work yourself or you can help others, you know, about, uh, or you can just pass along the chain of delivery. But it's like, in mo a lot of cases, it's like, you're in a danger zone. Where the fuck are they? Oh, now's not the time to fuck with us. Welcome to the forest of fun. Feel that? Good times. Uh-huh. Yo. Uh-huh. That is no bueno, my friend. Oh, God. It's just that simple. Do you realize the struggle of holding your breath with 117 kilos on your back and walking? Also, I'd like you to notice that the button to refresh also happens to be the button that you use to scan the environment. Okay. They're the same button. We you live. made it. We live. <gasps> we live. 
Uh oh. Thank you. No, that's a good thing. It's waving. Okay. See, See it turned into a hand to oh, say that everything is safe. Great. See, here's the problem. When my baby goes on the internet, how do I stop the porn from getting at it? Oh, you can't. <laughs> it's gonna find its way. Like, how do you fucking deal with? You know, is that is that what BTS are like? It's like p floating porn sites that are like, oh, <gasps> and you gotta hold your breath and crawl by it. She's dead. Okay, I guess not. Well, you gotta go. Yep. Bike controls. I have not been given any, but I assume R2 go forward. Maybe you can pop a wheelie. I, I held back to pop a wheelie a second ago. Yay! But do I really want to fall over and wipe the fuck out? Who knows? You want to see it. I know you want to see it. Overloading your bike. Loading a lot of car. I can't read that. I'm looking at my uh, the water right now. You're reducing your top speed if you're overloaded, and it increases battery consumption. Oh, it runs out of batteries fast. Yeah. Carrying a bunch of shit, and your battery is at the bottom left. Man, we bike it. Uh, difficult terrain will use special techniques and careful route selection. So you might need to like willy or jump on stuff. We're riding. Are you familiar? Oh. Are you familiar with Norman Reedus's ride? <laughs> As made famous by AMC? <laughs> Does it look like this? Fuck you, mules! Eat shit! What oh my you gonna God. do? Try to catch up on foot? Fuck off! Can't fucking touch me! Right? Yeah. Uh, I, I... Oh, I, I winking gave a, at Gave me. a little wink there. God, I got uh, flustered a bit, okay. So I started using, you know, the, the facilities, did a shower... Um... <laughs> And stuff and what happens this time around I guess since you know we've unlocked it is you get some grenades you got piss grenades grenades I got grenade zero for taking a shower I got grenade number one for taking a piss another of our new EX grenades the number one so named because it contains a vaporized extract formulated from your urine mmm Compared to our first iteration, this EX grenade contains a higher concentration of your fluids, which should make it more effective against BTs. Whenever you avail yourself of your private room's facilities, we will collect the results and produce additional units for your use. So you needn't worry about uh, running out. <laughs> yeah, so then I did the toilet. You went for number two. Sure did. Um, which, nice. you know, AMC's ride with Norman Reedus. What's that thing on his back? I don't fucking know. Oh my God. Number two. And like a tampon commercial, it's a blue fluid. Why is it, why is it not brown? <laughs> it's a blue fluid, oh, Reggie. You're going to pour that thing we and need... show me the retention? No, listen. I don't, I don't know the about how Norman feels, but I don't think he wants a brown vial. I'll give you the number two. As you may have surmised, this model was produced with various extracts refined from your fecal matter. We suspect that your regular consumption of cryptobiotes has what led up you Toronto? to certain compounds that may prove especially effective against BTs. <laughs> if you would like us to produce more, you need only furnish us with the requisite raw materials via your private room's toilet. The Toronto shit flinger was merely to years now. before his time. <laughs> He's ahead of his time. That's the that's the problem. Throw them twos up up in the yeah. six. Yeah. And then this happened. Whoa. You do know what they did yesterday, don't you? Sigma 
Tommy's birthday. This is BB's birthday. It's Willie's birthday. But today is a very special day, all the same. A special day for a special someone. You may have forgotten, but I haven't. Happy birthday. Yeah! Thanks, man! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kojima! You <laughs> wish me a happy birthday! There you go! Yeah! That's pretty close, but I might be able to breathe past them. <laughs> oh, this is flashing. Oh. Yeah, you need to breathe. Yeah, we pushed it to the limit there. Uh, I'm good for now. Walk along the network's edge. <laughs> Look down the feet your head. Push it, push it, push it to the limit. <laughs> and now, the true treacherous nightmare begins. The safety of the network. Seems like the next one is pretty far away in that direction. And we need to decide left, right, or straight. Um, can you zoom in? Yep. Uh, I think Th straight is like right through the rocks. It's right through the rocks. Ladders and bullshit will help us. But, but of course, you know there's some bullshit waiting left and right. You know there's some bullshit waiting <laughs> left and right, bro. I mean, look at the god lights telling you to go over there. Right? Yeah, a lot of rain around this area. Uh -huh. There it is. Nice. One, two, three, four. Good to go. All right. Hey, Asylums for the Feeling. Featuring Layla. I had to... Uh, How about this that, drop? Yeah. How about that sight? Gorgeous. Yeah, this game is not missing any beautiful sceneries. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I it seems doable. Uh, should I put a line, slowly? maybe? Oh boy, I'm afraid. Oh boy. <laughs> the R button. Then you put the thing down. So you really ha you have to hold the button to carry it in your hand. Oh. Hands. Okay. Yeah. It won't take damage if you fall. But. <laughs> you need to hold it all You the have time. to hold it manually. Look at that. Wow. What is that? Like a refinery? Or, oh, it's just a port. America the Beautiful. New strand established. Let's we did it! Make From the America. forest to the port. We made it like... That did can you believe that little bike trek and a couple of minutes of walk in and we made it a solid 20% across the surface area of the United States of America? Would you believe? Look at that. That's crazy. I'm fast traveler. Wow, America's small. <laughs> this is catamari sized America. I forgot where I read if someone was like uh Modern Kojima, uh, modern Kojima female character is quiet, fragile, mama, soon will be getting docile, 
<laughs> delicate and kitchen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's what modern Kojima, Kojima women are about. Oh my god. Could you imagine if we discover the boss's true name? And it turns out it's Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck everything. <laughs> Fuck Seven the cause. Oh, oh my god. god. Just the ultimate retcon. retcon. Wow. Kill me. Oh, what did she die for? Everyone sins. She's basically Jesus incarnate. Cool. That's the best. What's her name? Karen. Put it back in. Back, back done. <laughs> Dead. Just that final shot where you have to fucking take her out and you're just like... Press the X button like nine more times. Like finish her off. Her name's Karen. Hopefully we can go talk to a, pleasant journey. a new NPC that's hanging out in this town. Upside down rainbow. Dead crowd. Yo. And a massive damage. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, fuck. But we're in a safe zone. Holy. Wow. You guys are pulling me down like crabs in a bucket. Piss yourself. Yeah, actually. Actually piss yourself. Piss yourself! They're stopping. No, they're not. I remember you. He was on the, the top of the truck. Bruh. of God that permeates all existence. Oh yeah? That's an intro! Let's go, Troy Baker! <laughs> uh, so it was you that Higgs boson. <laughs> Bloody but unbound. Strand is dead. America's last president dead and burned. Oh, and now the girl's been chosen to take mommy's place. Well, that won't wash. She's not cut out for politics, is she? Oh, but don't worry. I'll find her. I'll keep her real safe. <laughs> you see, I've come to understand the truth of the Death Stranding. Oh, there's so much you people don't know. The girl, for instance. She's not like you or me. Dooms ain't her thing. And she's more into destruction on a worldwide scale. An extinction entity. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. Fortunately, I've got a good connection to the other side. Some interesting tech you're wearing there. You're no bridge. For me, I'm bound to all of it. This world, that world. And our sweet little angel of death. Uh, oh, you're just, he's just, you're just calling him out, huh? I'm sorry, are you using rival technology rules here? You got your own BB? An Odia deck? All it'll take is one itty bitty void out to blow us all at Kingdom Come. So how about it? I 
Aren't you getting tired of the grind? Isn't this what you've been waiting for this whole time? A game over. Wow, Kojima. <laughs> yeah. Haven't you been waiting for a boss? Says Hideo Kojima to the video game player. Are you kidding me, guys? Heads up, Sam. According to our damage assessments, it would only take a single void out to total Port Knot City. A single BT allowed to make contact with a civilian would be enough. We can't let that happen. You've got to deal with that BT right now. Okay. Kojima straight up saying, here's your boss fight, idiot. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. That's fucking hilarious, man. Hematic? Hematic, excuse me. I was legit wondering if, if I was co- Okay. Oh, okay. It's hurt. It's hurt. Oh, God. He loves it. He loves it. He's shaking it. He's shaking it from the side I can't see. There you are. Don't aim for the post. Oh, God. It didn't hit the post. Okay. Fuck you. Did he reach? No. I think that was it. He's leave us alone. I think that felt like it. That felt like that might have been it. No. Nope. Sure? No. No. There. Life bar empty though. Life bar empty. Yeah. That. That is. There. That is yeah. Ending scene. Yeah. 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 Chiralize. Get crusty. Gross. Hands. Incredible. For the first time in history, a human being has defeated a BT. Hey. Were you not a repatriate? I doubt it would have been possible. Not only does contact with your fluids pose no risk of triggering a void out, but in much the same way as your car is rejected by the beach. Your blood can be used to expel BTs from our world and return them to the other side. <sighs> You've given us hope, Sam. Shuichi Porter. Burijizu. Snack? Actually, no, the, mo the boring name you came through, then. is Taro. That's the, that's the boring name in Japanese. Name notwithstanding. I saw that asshole too, right? Higgs, he's the leader of a separatist group. Well, Seems to me like he was controlling that BT. That's a level seven for you. Higher, maybe. Seems like you know a lot about him. Used to work together. Guess you could say we had a contract. You did business with terrorists? Whoever pays, huh? He wasn't like that back then. So what's your angle? You want to save the world, or you want to fuck it all up like him? Oh. I wish I... I just wish things were different, all right? Here's all right. Did the boat just make a whale noise? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> Don't worry, she still floats. Come on, we're the only cargo left. Cool. Love that. Love that typeface. What if? What if? What we saw from that dude from our, our Virgil was just the marker for where Dooms is gonna take us. What At if some point we're gonna... that was a little notch on the wall to say, oh yeah, when your Dooms gets up there, yeah. this is what you're yeah. fucking, this is what we're playing with. Get on my level. What if? That would be sick. Control that black goop. Surfing on a whale. We should get there <laughs> tomorrow. Just poke him on it. 
and it seemed like he wrapped like rocks with the black fluid and oh he's floating on them oh yeah like, oh yeah 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 that was insane Another case of, like, oh, up, 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 up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, family picture. But does he care? Oh, yes, he cares. Does he care? Are you sure? I told you before, Sam. The past just won't let go. So he's not just going to Tom Cruise it into the ocean right behind him. <laughs> Street Fighter cross tech in. <laughs> I have something to Toby. ask you. It has to do with that asshole. Heeks. Oh, is he, is he, is he taking a nap? Yep. Yo, that's real. That's real. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, just give me, yeah, just give me five, bro. I just, yeah, just continue. I just killed Satan. Can I get five after killing Satan? Is that okay? That's great. That's great. Look, I don't see what your problem is, but look at physics. Yep, that's... Look at God. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near me right now because he's too afraid of my ability to stack that shit to the ceiling. When we first came through, it was different. Peaceful. The three cities out there, Lake, Middle, and South Knot, were all on board with our plans for reconstruction. Nice. Fragile Express was contracted by all three and kept supplies moving and people connected. But that all changed a year ago, when the Separatists carried out their attacks. One took out Middle Knot City. They detonated nukes from the old base. No way. Half of South Knot City went up in the other. Wow. Bridges doesn't have the resources to link up the remaining cities on its own. We need to secure the support of Here everyone. come the nukes. Nothing to do with Thanks, the Kojima. Impossible. Not the void outs, by the way. The not the not the crazy shit that happens because of the death stranding. The Actual dukes. Particular forced us to adapt a new strategy. We were the only people making deliveries out here. This was our territory. Until Higgs fucked it all up. Damn. What do you do? The express. Our reputation. All of Please it. don't say he used to be yeah, a porter just like back. you. And then you oh, turn to the dark side. I'm not on my own. The cave, Port Not City, next to your bed. So far apart, yet somehow we keep meeting. All that BT country in between where I should have been caught in a void out. Yet here I am. Here I am. Oh, damn, what? You can use the beach? I have a beach. You've got yours. I've got mine. Yep. Oh, shit. Nothing personal, kid. I to jump across space. <laughs> I can't conjure out BTs the way Higgs can. But I can go after him. Chase him to the beach. Problem is, everyone's got their own way in. I'm only allowed to pass through the beach I know and understand. I'm sure you've heard the term multiverse. Oh, oh damn. damn. It's the love. take a lot out of me. Set my blood dry. Stranger Things plus Nightcrawler. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. You're going to Edge Not City, right? Place is full of terrorists. But if you're dead set on it, then you're gonna have to deal with heat sooner or later. Look, I make deliveries, killing monsters and terrorists. It's not what I do. What if we did it together? I could use my power to help you. 
We don't have to want the same thing to be on the same side. I could send you across my beach. What? To any place the Kyrelians think enough. Any place connected to the Chiral network. And what do you expect in return? The importance of the internet. You to think it over. It allows teleportation. Here. Wow. Call it an incentive. And call me if you need me. Literal fast travel. Literal. This will keep us connected. See you when I see you. Fuck doors. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Jumping with Fragile. Instantly teleport to any distribution center or safe house within the area covered by the Kyle network. Any items you're carrying will be placed in a private locker. How nice! Hey! Oh, that's a relief. I've just about given up on you. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. Uh, respect, man. Seriously? Respect. Yeah, thanks. It's Jeff Keeley. Alright. Oh, so let's see what we're working with. Oh, yeah. I guess I did this off screen. But these are really helpful for letting you see bullshit like that. What right? The, yeah, okay. You want to see where these mule fuckers are. And uh, what their designs are. Oh, we got a nice little zoom right over here. You see him? All those fuckers walking around. Whoa. Yep. They okay. got beef. Was that a counter? No. I think it was a deflect. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Yo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. It's okay. You're still conscious. Okay. Like, right now, you have the yellow on top of the red. Red is your blood. Yellow is consciousness. Oh, Wu-Tang. Kick that mug. Ooh. Got it. <laughs> oh! The mid air? Yo, you got moves. Catching stuff, bullet time. Okay. That's it. Alright, hey, we, we got the controls. We got the control. Thanks. Sam Bridges, I presume? I've heard of you. The man trekking across the country trying to reconnect folks. I appreciate you bringing me this. I do. That's me. Times have been tough without Fragile Express to handle deliveries. Now, let me just check the cargo. That is not Junji Ito's voice. Good, good. Strong. Look at that. Oh, and look at that view. It looks Canadian. The Rockies? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Put your bike on the line. That looks like our beauty. But it's American beauty. <laughs> oh, God, society. Too big. Society. We should all keep it close and tight. That goes for couriers too. Otherwise, we'll just make the same mistakes over and Republics, over again. Federations, coalitions, states, connecting all kinds of people together. It's just asking. Wow! Yes. Full on boomer. Yes. I'm sorry. Connections it's suck. Remove the internet. Call. I don't want this it's anymore. Safe. I Zero want my own. I do me, you do you. Sovereign citizen, I will license. I will license my my connection here to you temporarily, as long as I'm not a part of the full group. Okay, watch out for the red stuff. Oh no! 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 Want some of this? Oh. And last guy. Oh, while I was in the middle of the animation. Yep. You dirty bitch. I think I'll time to wait. How dare you. Yow. Did the music stop? I need to rest. Okay. Yes. Let's just sit As I teabag this fucker. <laughs> Second things first. Ah, refreshing. Ain't nobody using this truck anymore. Oh, 
drive a big truck. Big choo choo on the wheels. Oh, let's get it, let's get it. Come on. Use a vehicle. And you can place your hand carried cargo on it. Truck time! Where's my cargo? Huh. Is it already? It's in. It's automatically in. I think I can pick up shit while I'm driving over it. That would be too good. It would, wouldn't it? Reggie? Yeah? I do believe we might just be actual truckers. Reggie, humans, people. What's up, guys? Keep on keeping on. Keep on. Keep on. Oh, wow. Wagwan. Today's a good day. Oh, word. What's going on, guys? Freelance delivery personnel. They do not steal your cargo. They don't pose a threat. Be sure to be friendly. Hey, mine's heavier. 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 Yeah. Are they handing you this? They stuff? sure yeah. are. You want to put stuff in, in the hellhole? No, I'm pretty bare bones. I'm just I'm just holding material at this point. Uh, the toolbox is right here. Yeah, yeah. I ain't that greedy, no. man. I ain't that greedy. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. What's our weight at, Reggie? 62, was it? We can take a little bit! Oh my god! We can take a little bit! Even if I didn't answer, you would have been like, no, let's get it! We can, let's we get can, it. we can get a little bit of metal! What, right. 40 kg? Ladder time, baby. Hard right, reaches. I don't know, like, how the fall is going to be, though, on the other side. You're all free now! Yay! He's <laughs> just fucking oh. falling off the what wall. What do you think of this? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, did you break a leg? Game over? You broke your leg and the blood clot traveled to your heart. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> that was clean. Worth it. That was clean. We out. Yep. P bad. <laughs> I guess that would be it. You can't be in the onsen. That's nice. Yo, know, onsens are so fucking good. Life changers, man. I, I swear to God, like, wow. you cannot stop thinking about them once you once you do it. Northeastern healing spring. Oh yeah. Woo. Hey baby. Boiling the baby. Warm up. Bun, 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 bun. What the f what is happening? What are you singing? Oh my god, he's singing a Japanese bat song! Soak it in, Sam. Soak it in. <laughs> he taught Norman Reedus a Japanese bat song. <laughs> <Iu -da -na. laughs> oh, oh, maybe, uh, try dropping something. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. It's in about 7%. But these pie. guys don't have this kind of blood tech. <laughs> it's my doom's blood that gives these weapons anyway. It's true. I'm the only one that's ever defeated a BT. This it's is true. the greatest weapon they can possibly, like, you know? They can see them too. The BTs. Ah. 
Yeah, some good shit. What else you got? Thumbs up. I got a like. like. All right, see you around, guys. Enjoy. Likes. Receive. So that's neat. So that means you're always going to be spending more than necessary, unless. Uh, damn. Ooh. Well, there you go. Yeah, we need that in Montreal. Unless, uh, unless we're contributing to something that some, something, something that someone already started, right? Because we on the network can see other people's roads. Look at that! That is a beautiful road. Can I get there? Please don't attack me while I'm holding delicious pizza. Please. There's no need for ghosts. He attacks you. If some meals attack you and you don't get any tip. No, it suck. It's the BTs that are the problem. Do they have their sense of smell? Yeah. What kind of pizza you got? There we go. How quick was that? All right. Fucking Peter. Can't even come out to say wow. thank you. You jerk. Rude. What the shit? Four minutes? Come on. When are you gonna get your food that fast? Now the bots can enter the final phase of testing. I designed them myself, you know. My hope is that they'll lighten the load a little bit. Unlike human quarters, if one goes down, it won't cause a void out. You know, for the longest while, they said automatic deliveries was impossible. But right now we're doing the impossible. We can take on bot deliveries. Delivery bots are designed to process some orders for... Get off my lawn. And by lawn, I mean the, the, uh, like the next five acres. <laughs> whoa, look whoa. at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, that's a Koji bot. That's a full-on Kojima. I haven't seen one of you in a minute. Look at that. I mean, I, I... That is right is out of Metal Gear Rising. Is it normal that I find out it has a sexy walk? No. Okay. Because there's no sway to those hips. There, there was a bit of there's a booty. There's zero sway to those hips. That robot had a booty. That, I, the, I will show you robot booty. That is not robot booty. <laughs> Look up Jehuti. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. If you think that's thick, you're fucking... <laughs> your tastes are plebeian. You can decide how to use this one. Oh no. You're good, you're good, you're still young. God, that skin texture makes you want to shower. Mm. Who's she that? doing, Fragile? Who said it was okay? You know I pee in there, right? Like... <laughs> who said it was okay? That's my room. They handcuffed me to the bed. What are you doing? That's my monster. Those are my toys. Did you eat my cake? It was you. She ate the cake. And you got your shoes Sorry, in there? I didn't mean to startle you. Fuck. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Thanks for asking. Yeah, seriously, you think right. this is your house? Don't, you, dude, don't touch my toys. Don't touch my fucking monster. Look, don't even look ask. at it. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. Oh, damn. She's yo, a chill. goddamn hero, that woman. Yo, I had questions. Chill. Well, I, gotta be I so didn't say it. They did. What does America mean to you? Answer the questions. Why is everybody so sketched out by you? The way my dad made it sound. 
we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. Also, tell me where I could find that jacket. He was sure of it. It is nice. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Heeks made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, fuckers hijacked our system. Damn. Somehow they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine. And I didn't even know. Mm. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old school nook that I ended up carrying right into Middle Knot City. Oh, snap. You tell me then. Yeah. It was me. I blew it up. Oh my. It could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the sea. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Is that a Shakespeare reference? Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true, except for all the lies. Mm, I like that lie. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. Okay, so Higgs is a fuck. But I'm not about Which to was very Higgs. clear. Some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. From the way he introduced himself? Hmm. <laughs> That's why I came to you. No doubt. No doubt was left. Like, the man showed up and went, hey man! Hey guys, I'm a shit. Trust me. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Got it. And then she's like, yeah, so it turns out sound. Higgs is a shit. Oh, word? Oh, yeah. She's the first person that's kind of like, okay, enough with this America shit. <laughs> that's, uh, that's just, yeah. Which, you know, I don't know if um, the game is going to necessarily. Uh, Prove her correct, mm. considering how much connection is important. But don't connect with anyone across the border, though. <laughs> that connection from she to sea to shining sea goes as far north as the fucking uh, Canadian border and as far south as Mexico. And we are not connecting or stranding with anything beyond <laughs> that line. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> fair, fair. Like, hmm, what's up with this? What's up with this uh, this PCC terminal that's <laughs> lining the southern border? And I keep throwing in materials, but I'm not seeing the results. How big is this road? This road is huge. <laughs> okay. Too close. Like to right here, for example. Yeah. But he's blocking. There's another bike right in the way. Yep. So you can't do that. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. That oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I just <gasps> No Well there you go. Everybody gets what they wanted. <gasps> Everybody gets what they wanted. Oh my god. Everybody gets what they wanted. Baby stress level. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now it's time for these guys. Are you serious? There you go. This is what, this is what, this is what people want to see. Oh god. Oh, it doesn't like that. 
<laughs> like it makes me wonder if you have enough ammo to take yeah, it down. Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh no. It's got lasers on it too? Alright, zero. Zero. We got P. Eight milliliters. Bola gun is not equipped with my blood right now though, is it? It's only got the bolas on it. Hmm. Oh, it's coming up right there. <laughs> oh my god. Tail swipe. Something happened. Well, the car goes trashed. <laughs> I tried to pee on him. <laughs> you tried to whip your dick out. I, try, I tried to pee on him. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the effort there you go. of trying to like relieve yourself right I'm there. a people pleaser. <laughs> Square to join floating carriers together. Two floating carriers can be linked together. Oh wow. Okay, so you're like a Sherpa. Find your way to the building site. So you can skate you can skate right now. Yes, because now I'm on a hill. As opposed as 20 seconds later, what has changed in the reality of but things? What is the direction I'm, I'm facing? Look, look, straight ahead. That's all skatable, but I got to go this way. And you think that, like, it's going to go higher from here on out? No. We're but... going downhill. All right. That's right. You're making no sense right now. I'm saying that's not going to go as far because look how, because it's flat land. We're going to eventually, look, here, I'll do it. We'll do it. There you go. All right. Now let's see how it's, far. It's freaking work. Let's see how far we get. All right, we're going. See, that's cool. We're doing it. And now we're not doing it. Let's go this way. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why would you bump into the big rock? I didn't do it intentionally. <laughs> that was great. Uh, <laughs> it's inside the rocks? It's a hologram? Look at this post box, dude. Stretch my legs. Wow. That tech. I'm impressed. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I'm impressed. Yeah, so when you have all people long enough and when you do enough of stuff for them, then they eventually sometimes have these little moments. Uh, like here, for example. But let's face it. I'd be dead if you hadn't come through for me. If you hadn't bent over backwards to get me my medication. I see how you're all killing yourselves to save the country. Well, figure it's my turn to be useful. And if I share my data, if I share my knowledge and memories with you, you'll use it to help other folks like me, right? Be ashamed to let it go to waste. And more than that, we can't make it on our own. I think I knew that deep down after a lifetime of trying. But it took you to make me admit it. So, join me up. Oh. I'm ready to be part of it all. Mm-hmm. There you go. Wow. He's come around. He's finally come around. Yeah, and he was also really nice when you helped him out with stuff. He would just be like, even though I don't always say it, thank you, Sam. Oh. You know, I might be a mean curmudgeon sometimes, but I do mean it, you know, and, and whatever. So you're like, oh, okay. All right, old man, you're nice. Hey, hold <laughs> up. <Whoop>. All right. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> what about you, little one? Would you like me to open it? 
Yes, please. What is it? He's what is selling it? it. He's selling it. Ooh, what do we have here? <laughs> what do we have here? Hiring an A-list actor hey. just to have him hanging around and act like Look Santa Claus. Yeah, we got a Ludens toy. Nendo, specifically. Won't be needing this anymore. I'm not fighting. You're all that matters to me now, so I'm gonna stay right here with you. My friend will know what to do with this one. Well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Wow. Best dad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we got that one, right? Birth at least. Christmas, birthday. Probably Happy New Year. Valentine's Day, maybe. Who knows? Man, maybe there's like so much lore that's hidden in the there, clock, because you know? the clock matters. Yeah. Yo, that's a big gulp. Man like you. Sads, Mickelson. So he tried to escape, and it failed. Um, oh, look at the colors on your bike there. Yeah, we got our, our Ava colors going on. It, actually, people are making these often. Like, I didn't, I didn't customize that at all. That's just something that people have been making. And I, every time I see one, I fucking grab it, because <laughs> goddamn, you best believe. Yeah, it looks good. The woolly color configuration yeah. is going to get used. But the benefits of carrying your materials around and, and clearing out the mules and what not is you get to fucking build yourself a big ass highway. So I built everything that I could barring going into future game progress. Wow. But all of this highway I went back and rebuilt. So uh, they have you to thank for this. Yes. You get all the likes. Also some of these bridges I'm responsible for in the distance. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> Let me not turn my head too far away for a second there, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. And, and uh, yeah, missions become trivialized when you uh, fucking, when you build the road, right? Now we got those side safe houses on the, on the, uh, on the side as well. Uh, and I've prepared a lot of material for the next road expansion too. So we just passed one of those beasts. I don't know if you saw it. Oh god. Oh yeah, okay. That is... Terrifying. Yeah, I would be like, what the hell is that? Terrifying. It? Right? <laughs> Not knowing what you're looking at. Super scary. I secretly hope that at some point you're gonna pass by one and be like, Oh yeah, it's one of those. But no, it's gonna be a real one. Fucking <laughs> wreck your shit. So yeah. Um, but as you can see, the map just becomes like... Nullified. There's even like, times where mules will attack you, and like they'll spot you on the road, and you're like, "I don't give a fuck. What are you gonna do?" You know, like they'll they'll actually start They're already halfway gone. They'll start chasing after you. 
you know, and the music will imply that they're angry, but what are they going to fucking do? We got little side routes so that we can go visit our friends over there, oh, look at that. you know? Roads are awesome, dude. Roads are fantastic. High quality stuff? I haven't drank it yet, I don't know. But they temporarily replaced our monster energy drink <laughs> with some fucking beer, bro. Yo. So I want to taste it. I want to see what's going on. Time fall porter. What kind of what kind of buffs do we get for drinking beer? Come on. Yeah, of course, I'm not going to pour it in a glass. Who the fuck? Yeah, I mean, like, it tastes better out of the glass. But a lot of the time, like, who has time for that? I just wanted to see the color, you know. And oh, we get the stamina boost. Okay, so it's the exact same stamina boost as the um, as the monster. But instead of... Are you getting crunk, though? But instead of energy, you're, <laughs> you're getting a different kind of boost, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, I can do this. Woo, let's go. <laughs> you know why glasses take make beer taste better? Why? Yeah, because the glass is, is often shaped in such a way where the the smell comes back to your nose. Oh, okay. And the smell accentuates the taste because smelling is a part of taste. So yes. in a can, it's cut off versus in a glass where you're getting the full the whole whiff. The, the full whiff makes the sips mm. taste better. I would have... Guess that for wine with the wine glasses, but not beer. But it makes sense. It's still like, uh, like when you think of a pint, it's still very like. Are you shaking the beer? Why are you shaking the beer, bro? Uh, what, what? <laughs> Yo, you want to fight? <laughs> He's fucking. Oh my god, look at him. He's fucking losing his mind. Frosh week. Yo, Steve Weisers. He's opened up a can of Steve Weisers. <laughs> he didn't drink enough to get drunk, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. He had two beers. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Call child protection services. CPS. Yo. Oh. Oh, Norman's crunk. Don't knock on the tank. Okay. But it makes me wonder how many there are. What's up, Mads? I got caught in the rain. Oops. Didn't mean to give you a shower. I tried waiting it out, but when I checked the time. I'm sorry. Should have come sooner. I got rain in my eyes. Oh. Just give me a minute. Can you still see? Yeah. Yo, that's a fucking fast way to go blind. Yep. Cataracts. Inst already. Instant cataracts. Yep. And I built a post box over here that helped me, you know, extract everything and nullify that. There you go. So when they ping you, you ping them back and you negate it. These bitch mules. You know what? Fuck them. Oh my god. Fuck these mules. Are you looking for trouble? They ain't got shit. Oh boy, that's a lot of red marks. They ain't got shit. Oh my god, it was a hole. There's another one here. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know there was a hole there. I'm stupid. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Did you drop shit? You drop a whole lot of crap, I think. Oh yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> well, you thought you were safe. Yeah, I was gonna flex. All right, that bike is done. <laughs> Dude, that is a deep ass valley. Oh, you're n you safe? Good? You're good? Yeah? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> oh, God. Almost broke your neck. Kenning it there. Hey. Okay.
food up. Some terrorist nutjobs. Oh, shit. And their buddies at Fragile Fucking Express. Not to mention the Bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. As far as I'm concerned, all you porters are no better than terrorists. What? And nothing you say will convince me otherwise. So take your Cupid and fuck off. <laughs> oh, shit. This is gonna be a hard five stars. Yo. Hey, Sam. I was looking through my old client database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial and voice. She's still alive. Mm. Our junk dealer's grieving for nothing. Mm. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Talking about the weight of the rain, I, uh, I finished Heavy Rain last night. You finished Heavy Rain yeah. last oh, night? Oh yeah, I was playing old games. Why would you play Heavy Rain? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because it's a David Cage game. Do you know David Cage? Now I do. That's the first David Cage game you've played, I assume. Yes. You beat you beat the whole thing in one sitting? Yeah, not in one sitting. Uh, it took a few sittings, but... You didn't tell me you were on the Heavy Rain yeah. Cage train? Yeah. Jason! <laughs> Jason! <laughs> so, the, I was playing with my girl and she was like, stop pushing that button. Jason! I'm like, Jason? Jason! Who, Jason. Told, who, who told you to play Heavy Rain? It was on PS Plus a long time ago and I put it in my library. And we were just like, oh, let's play something. I was like, oh, I have Heavy Rain. I was like, okay, let's start a playthrough. Oh, my God. That's how I, that's how I got into Reggie, it. Reggie, you keep these secrets from me. <laughs> and I don't, know, I don't know what you want me to do with that information. <laughs> but clearly there's a lot you don't know. Yeah, probably. And um, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Right. I know you're, you're a big fan. Yes. Of DC. Yes. Um... You know, the man has become somewhat of a real-life supervillain to us. Oh, word. Because he just does the exact opposite of what video games should be. And he somehow gets the funding to make these games at Quantic Dream that just, like, are some of the worst written pieces of track. <laughs> I've ever encountered and like this goes back to before we even started YouTube when uh, we were excited for uh, his his one of his first games I remember getting excited for one of his first games Omicron okay the nomad soul because it was a uh, adventure like sci-fi game where the combat was fighting game like and I got all hyped all right. for that and then it was a piece of <laughs> fucking shit then I got hyped, not knowing the connection, because that was early on. I got hyped for uh, uh, Indigo Prophecy, okay, aka Fahrenheit, his PlayStation 2 game, because there was a demo for it, and that demo made the game seem like a fucking narrative masterpiece, right? Because you had to, you played as a possessed killer that like had no idea what crime he just committed. Okay. In the beginning of the game, and then you have to hide a body and avoid police detection and do this whole s sequence. And then after you finish hiding the body and getting out of there, you play as the cops investigating the scene that you just set up. Which yeah. was super cool. Okay. Very interesting, right? And then you play the rest of the game, and it's dog shit. Oh, no. It is nonsensical narrative dreck. And then we went, what? What the fuck? Like, this had so much promise. Hey, Bridges. Fragile says my girl's alive. And I'm just supposed to believe her? After what she did? Hell no. You're gonna need to prove it. And there's only one way out. Escort mission. I'll give you something to take to this woman you found. Oh, never mind. She says it's hers. You bring her back here to me. Take this with you, too. You'd think a grieving Spell parent. That improves stability and mobility. Yay! Threw together some of the parts I've got lying around. Just so we're clear, 
I'm only giving it to you because I want to make absolutely sure you complete this delivery. Yeah. You'll drop by again, won't you? Yeah, sure. Oh. Wow. oh. Take me with you. Please. I have to see him again. Holy shit, it's a human being. Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me! <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing that I thought to do. I made this for him, you know? When the terrorists attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. Oh, she's not a tired child. She's Japanese. I tried to find him afterwards. Oh, well, that explains I everything. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. So when she said that he died, I believed her. Oh. Do you heard that message? It's him. It's really him. All right. I should never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. I couldn't leave my mother all around. So I tried to make my peace with it. <sighs> Only I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past. Unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. See, this is why I I really don't like that Metal Gear Twin Snakes changed Mei Ling's voice. Mm. So do you know Mei Ling in yeah. the original? Right? When On the PlayStation version she was like She had an accent. Yeah. Right? And then when they made the new version On the GameCube. Uh, they completely changed it because yeah. they're like, no, we don't want to have this racist accent. And it's like it's people racist. have accents. Yep. It's a part of life. I live in a I live in a city where everyone I know has an accent. If anything, they're the racist ones for fucking changing the. Well, language. it's just it's not even racist. It's, it's not often that we're asked to transport people, but with the world being the way it is, it might well be the safest way to travel. Human trafficking. Anyway, all right, Sam, let's go. The Literally, want you to take her to the junk dealer. To do so, your only option is to carry her in a body bag. <laughs> it might seem strange, but precise oh, time will end chiral contamination. <laughs> While allowing you to breathe. All right. Oh, no. I've snapped her neck. Now what? What do you mean you snapped her? Just put her in the body bag alive, dude. <laughs> Sam, why are you heading for the furnace from the beginning of the game? <laughs> No one asks you to talk. All right. Oh god. Hot spring episode. That's how you can tell. It will swallow you up if you're ready. It's bottomless. Or so claim the folks who use these places to display. Wow, noisy cargo. Here we are. I'll just dump her in the water. Hot springs, huh? Yeah. Uh, is she just like watching you? I hope you turn her around. Oh yeah, there she is. That's Whoa, cool. that's cool. They actually did it. It's cool. Mud bath. Enjoy it too. 
The elevated chloride contact of the spring is speculated to be the result of the close proximity to the salt water. All right. <laughs> Any creepy songs this time around? Uh, though its waters are cloudy, one thing is clear. <gasps> <laughs> wow, that's that amazing. So cool. <laughs> that's the stuff. How about that? That's so cool. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> they, they added the extra layer. When you, when you do it, that's fun. Oh, oh, where he's teaching footwork. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And he goes on this like, incredible. light spot yeah, yeah, of the yeah, guy, yeah. and I'm yeah. like, wow. Yeah, okay, yeah. No wonder people got destroyed by this guy. He's <laughs> still a god. He hates it now, but... <laughs> anyway, here we go. That's not my girl. What? <laughs> Connections. Are you hurt? Thanks, Bridges. I can't believe you're alive. That's my line, silly. Oh. I thought you were dead. My mom told me you were. Arigato, Bridges. <laughs> He's got full weave. <laughs> I kept it close. Always. But after the attack... It stopped working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on, like forgetting you. Well, now we can both move on together, you and me, if you're ready. Of course. What's <laughs> <laughs> Did a pedal jump? He fixed the things, made them like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece. We don't need <gasps> What? The only time that matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count some moments ourselves together. All right. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. She's an adult. Yep. Because she threw it on the ground, Reggie. Mazel <laughs> <laughs> Uh She's not a kid at all. What? Don't hate mom, please. She said I was dead. <laughs> He's Remember, like, yeah. This is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. It's gonna be a Shinto style or Western? <laughs> because she needs us and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. Look at that. Love can bloom on the <laughs> battlefield? What? I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. Yo, your girl is tight. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. What you say? <laughs> and though I can't do half of what you people don't do. Don't worry, I don't like touchy day, people. I'm ready to pull my weight. I like to watch <laughs> though. <laughs> I'm your man. You see, I'm can count the creeper. On me. From the closet wearing a Superman outfit. <laughs> it's past time. <laughs> we will join the UCA's network. I won't let you down. I swear. Don't touch me. Nope. <laughs> Yo. I go slap it's the shit shades. out of you if you. Ah, <laughs> oh, cute. 
giving a thumbs up to somebody <laughs> creates a, a, a like. Look at that! Whoa. The future tech recognizes an actual real life thumbs up as a like. Just don't fucking touch me. The shades makes it look extra cool. Yo, he was about to go down. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yo, Sam flexed up. Sam flexed up. He tensed. <laughs> he was bracing for a haymaker. Oh my god. Do I get too close to the edge of the cliff? Oh, I faced the wrong way on that one? Alright. Bro. Oh. Yeah, your yellow yeah, bar I is see really it. low. I see it, I see it. Watch out behind you. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I got knocked out on that one. Shit. Okay, I failed that. Oh no. What happened? Wake up butt naked. Whoa, really? Oh my god, that's interesting. Your weapons and equipment have been dumped. Stolen. St some stuff have been stolen, but some stuff was dumped. Interesting, I've never seen that before. Oh no, I, I hope we didn't lose too many weapons. I've never seen this. Other items, including personal effects, will be dumped elsewhere. Yo, that is rough. So you gotta steal back your shit. If you're not carrying cargo, they'll ignore you completely. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, because they just that's all that's all they want, right? Seems like a long divide. It is, and oh, he just jumped it. Oh, you have your speed thing, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh boy, please don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it tripped me right before the jump. That's ridiculous. What are the odds? What are the odds? Uh, yeah, speed skeleton is awesome. Oh Love yeah, it. I can build a truck now. And and wasn't there like a thing for the color on your backpack you can that you those change? Little darlings to stun your enemies and give yourself some breathing room. Just equip and toss. They'll trigger on contact. Okay. They deliver a shock that should incapacitate every living thing within the blast radius. Okay. Let's try this out. Look at that. No more mule trucks. We got our own, baby. Wow, with the brand on it, too. Yeah, everybody knows we're coming through. Wouldn't that make you like a perfect target, actually? Sure would. <laughs> oh, boy. <gasps> did you see what I tripped on? Did you, did you notice? <laughs> I thought we were gonna be doing a clean jump. I don't know what happened. I uh, so it ha again. It was a little slant again. Like, I didn't see it. I didn't see. I, I didn't see it. I thought you were good. So it's a risk. Running is a risk. That's it. Running is a straight up risk. Missions. Unable to process order. Unable to process order. Always have a twist, don't they? <laughs> oh, hi, uh, Sam Bridges, I presume. <laughs> Sorry about that. The uh, system seems to be on the fritz. Uh, one of the packages wasn't processed properly and got left out of the order. It says here the client is fragile herself. Someone double tagged it so the system couldn't tell whether it's for Fragile Express or Bridges. <sighs> Anywho, really sorry for the holdup and uh, careful. The contents are. Fragile. Wrap this man up, yes. okay. put him in the corner, and interrogate him immediately. Yeah. You like, can't see his face. Show me your face. Show me your freaking face. Wrap this man up. Identify yourself. With his suspicious voice. 
Oh my god. And of course you have to listen to him. Small thermonuclear weapon! <laughs> <sighs> yep, Sam. Yep, yep. Sam. Come on. Like... From Fragile herself. I hate this. I hate this. I hate when you have no choice but to just... Oh, you can't question you, this? I'm driving a nuke into the city. Are you fucking serious, you, guys? You can't question this. You can't be like, uh, no. no. Oh, maybe once we reach an... Oh my god, it's glowing red. <gasps> I hate everything. I hate everything. This sucks. This is so stupid. I would be so mad. Oh boy. It's one of the first conversations you, uh... Hey, I got a nuke. Can you guys not? <laughs> Can you just not for once? <gasps> like, if they scan, if they use their Eldra decks and they scan and they see a fucking... Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Should they not be able to be like, I don't want to deliver that? <laughs> <laughs> like, wouldn't that, would that not immediately stop them in their tracks? I think they, w they could try to get it and become super powerful. But they don't care about power. They're druggies that need their likes in because they haven't delivered any packages. You have a new, you start your new delivery company, you say everybody report to me. UPS <laughs> needs you to take their business on or everyone dies. Guys, there you go. But we thought I about it. I, we thought about we it. Thought about, we I, it's it. on camera. <laughs> it's on camera that I'm trying to make the right choice right now. I just don't know whether the game wants me to do it or not. <laughs> oh, God. You hear that beeping? Yep. Oh, what the? It says here the client is fragile herself. Careful. The contents are fragile. There you go. There you go. Yep, you have to solve the problem. It's not, it's not intended. <laughs> yeah. He's literally just putting a voice on. <laughs> like he was just, he was just... <laughs> it wasn't even remotely. What are you talking about? I can't believe it. The package I picked up for you, the one from Lake Knot. Hold on, I wasn't expecting any package. He said Fragile herself was the client. The system was down, so some Bridges delivery guy had to hand it over in person. Who? Look, the point is, it was Higgs. Come on, I need to see it now. Oh my. Like, they could have used any rando as a delivery person for that, but the fact that they used him it's just like, oh my god, like, you could have been more subtle about it, bro. Just hard cut to that oh my god gif with the guy making the weird face like, oh my god. It's a nuke. Not again. The bastards can do this to me again. The timer's already started. I can't stop it. Oh boy. I have one option. Sam, you've got to get rid of it. Take it down to the crater and next to South Knot. It's a tar pit. Damn your bottomless. If we chuck it in there, oh, yeah. we just might have a chance. Right, they did tell us about that. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Kojima knows writers that use subtext and they're all cowards. <laughs> This is the first thing I'm throwing. <laughs> Don't mess up. All right. <laughs> like, oh my god! You just shook a nuke. You you are shaking a nuke right now. <gasps> is it far enough? Yeet! <laughs> Call me. Oh god. It's a small nuke, guys. Right. The tar is fine. <laughs> it's not nuclear tar at all. Totally okay. Easy peasy. 
Nothing wrong with irradiating a tar pit. <gasps> Who's there? Jesus, that was close. <gasps> you saved the city and everyone in it. I love a lot more than I ever did. Maybe there's no way of saving Metal Knot. But South Knot's still here. Because of me. And you. That is jump in the fridge to survive the nuke levels of, of bullshit, by the way. <laughs> that is Indiana Jones style nonsense. By the time I realized what Higgs was planning, the nuke was already at the city gates. I followed the delivery truck and somehow managed to carry the bomb to safety. But Higgs had been on to me from the start. He caught me red-handed outside the gates, nuke still cradled in my arms like a child. So, as punishment, he strips me down to nothing, and then he makes it rain. Yo, what? Yo, that was fucking badass. Doom's level 99, bro. Yo. To live out your days as damaged goods, or would you rather take damage for the goods? Get to the point. All right. If all you want is to save yourself, you just have to jump. However, if you want to see this altruistic streak of yours through, then you'll have to carry my nuke to the bottomless pit and toss it in. Oh, sure, you'll be the city savior. But you will have to walk naked through time fall to do it. You trade a lot of your time for a little bit of the city's? <laughs> Hell, seems like a fair exchange to me. That's a diehard mask. That's what I thought. It looks very similar. You see, the truth is, I don't much care for my face. That's why I hide it. Oh, but you. Oh, you just love yours, don't you? I bet Daddy was real proud. Thanks, Vega. Don't worry. I won't mess it up. See, I want your face to be a kind of testament. Yeah. You think the guys holding the you? guns are like, Why we're the good me? guys, right? <laughs> our, our captain just licked her face. I found someone who completes me. Someone who doesn't need me to wear a mask. Oh. And who's that? Is it Matt? Word to the wise. Even if you do save South Knot, you'll always be the nut job who blew up Middle Knot. Oh, and that pretty face of yours will always be remembered as the face of a terrorist. They'll never stop hunting you. Believe me, I know. 
Well, they can slap a sticker on you, but you're still gonna break in transit. Because she's fragile. So, what's it gonna be? Hmm? I'll take the damage and the goods. I don't break that easy. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with that. I'll take the damage in the goods. I don't break that easy. Yeah, she needs that to teleport, right? Yeah. Because I'm fragile. But I'm not that fragile. <clears throat> what's going on yeah yep mm. save the city sacrifice your body old juice damn granny oh my god yo post-apocalyptic Helen Mirren let's go <laughs> why are you so hot for being that old what's crazy it's crazy what's going on there was she hit by time fall? Was Helen Mirren hit by time fall? Is that what happened? Can't stop. Oh my god. Mm. So Higgs is Higgs is your 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 um your moral slash ethical dilemma terrorist, right? The one who doesn't just want to accomplish his goals, but wants to fuck you up by making your oh, ideals be challenged. Yeah. You are a goddamn hero. Reggie? Yeah. You know what I'm about to ask. She's like, she's just like her mother. Tough, clever, easy on the eye. Hey, 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 hey. Just like her mother. Hey! Back <laughs> off. It's my sister. Mother is fair game, though. <laughs> Don't bow your head, Wooly. Come on. I mean, like, in current state? <laughs> you want to qualify that statement? 18 to 69, bro. <laughs> okay. Powder can go a lot of places. Ashes can do many things. There you go. Reggie drops another fetish. Another LP, oh another Reggie fetish. Oh, my God. Old people, the older the better. No. Nope. So old that if you're in fact, you, like, <laughs> cancer patient, no problem. Cremated, hell yeah. <laughs> you're okay, get in. Backstory complete. Now we know. Oh my god. What's going on? Oh my god. How oh, would ya? <laughs> <laughs> now let's get your cargo. Well, she has, would ya? she has a nice personality. No, 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 no. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie Gaston. As you sit here before me today, not would you, could you? Could you? Wait a minute. Are you capable? Is it within your power to there, do so? Th there's a certain limit to it. <laughs> like In this, the year of our Lord, Mere, mere days before 2020. Could you, Helen Mirren, to the best of your ability, Helen Mirren, <laughs> could you? Like I said, personality goes a long way. <laughs> Are you just gonna Z target no. the face no. <laughs> and lock it in? What are we doing here? You know. The the older you get, and the more you're like, you know what, our bodies, they go downhill, and it expands, it expands your range, you know? I'm hearing a whole lot of preamble 
a whole lot of not yes or no. Talk to me, Reggie. Could you? I could. You could! <laughs> you could! He could! He could! A hand gun. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not... With real bullets? <laughs> That's not a... An assault rifle? Um... Hold on. Are we in there? But... Grenade? Hold, no. No, but... I thought we were trying to not... Kill. I thought killing was bad. No, we're bringing it back. Bridges, what are we doing, Bridges? We're Why? trying to go back to how America was. No! Back in the we, days. We just had the chance. <laughs> no! We're going we, in there. We just had the reset button. We almost have four guns <laughs> for people, per person now. We just got away from it. Keep on trucking, Sam. Oh, America. God, no blue in the inverted <laughs> rainbow. Make Man. America shoot again. Oh, my, no blue in the inverted rainbow. No blue in the postmodern world, apparently. <laughs> 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 that rainbow has got bright red. <laughs> There's a reason why she's called Bama. I don't think available is the right word to use. Okay. Uh, that, that might be the big Carol Surge we're talking about. Oh. Boss fight? Damn, Reggie, I think I needed my oh, guns. Oh, no! No! Reggie, I think I needed my guns. Uh... What? <laughs> I'm gonna guess Higgs wasn't too happy. That's... <gasps> that's pretty funny. Just need a handgun. To defeat the tornado, you need guns. Oh, these guys. I've been waiting to see where these guys would come in. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? Yes. Yes, this is the shit. This is the shit I've been waiting on. What the fuck? This is that second trailer shit. Yo, let's go, Mads. Not real. <sighs> Yo, let's go, man. But we know he's a nice guy, right? He's doing it for Lisa. And what might have been a fake baby the whole time. Mm-hmm. Oh, what mm -hmm. is happening? Okay. Combat veteran. Yo. Yo. That's an introduction. Are you serious? That's an introduction. What a fucking... What an establishment. Oh. Yo, what? I was gonna say, what what was his name again? Was it uh, Cliff. Cliff, right? That's the name he mentioned. Fuck that. Combat veteran. Combat veteran, let's go. Where are we? What the hell happened? Not in the present day. Whoa. That was a fast jump. Uh, did you skip the blood bag or? Ah, oh, it's walking, yeah. I hit a cutscene. Oh no. Okay, baby. It's just hallucinations or something. I don't know. Daddy's seeing some shit right now. <laughs> just give me a moment. He wants his baby, man.
Yeah, that's the other thing he did in the trailer. God, fucking! Is there anything Mads can't do? Just stand around and be cool. We don't even know what you're doing. That's good enough. Is this what is this Doom's level 200? Like level 99 is make it rain. He's like the fourth Hokage. Yeah, and then just and making then, his own smokes out of Carillium. And he's just like, all right, now we're just time traveling. We're just time traveling. We're just pulling shit in and out of time. This is the infinite loot box. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Dude, a soldier with ballot space? Give up. Which way are we supposed to go? Oh my god. Okay, destroyed. No, yes, okay. Where's the hiding? Let's get in there. BE aggressive. Load your deck. Switch sides, please. Whoa. <gasps> I was out of ammo! Oh no! Oh my god! Okay. Switch sides. That's one. Please stay on that side. BB approaching Be autotoxemia. It is fighting itself right now. Shit, okay. The stress level must be way too high. Yeah, baby is in the red. Uh, we gotta get it. We, yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's get out of this situation. Come on, baby. Get this it's crypto, okay, baby. Crypto bio. You're basically mad in the flashback right now. Yeah. You're okay, baby. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god, it's okay baby, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Literally shaking the baby's dress away. Is it even helping? I don't know. It didn't go up much. It really didn't. Come on. Baby. Slow shake. Oh, there we go. Slow shake. All right. Easy does it. Easy does it. Hey, I was shaking daddy. it pretty aggressively. <laughs> Look, come on, you're, you're a good baby. Come I was, on. I was there. <laughs> Just like yeah. looking at the water. <laughs> yeah. Remember. Remember. Oh yeah, this is what the boss was like, huh? Giving birth on the battlefield. Where are they? Behind you! Nice jump. Mad. Got him. Finally. There we go. You killed Mads Mikkelsen. Ah, I'm pretty sure he's not dead. But we... We annoyed him sufficiently to get him to talk. Have you had enough, combat veteran? It's not the name I was expecting. <laughs> Roll credits? <laughs> I guess not. Don't fuck with UPS. My baby. Give yes, daddy fight! Yo. Two grown men fighting over a baby. This is what it's come to. Mads. Me. I mean, I'm the daddy now. He, he, Mads is daddy as fuck. <laughs> Like, he remembered the birthday, he remembered Christmas, 
He was there. He drank in front of the baby twice. <laughs> I should stay in my listen, car and listen, just hold it down. All, like almost nothing in life is worth physical confrontation. Like almost That's the thing. nothing. But it gets to me. Then you're that's then you're at fault. I don't want I don't want to go there. Then you're at fault. But I'd be like, hey, eat the consequences are, then. You are dangerous. I, I don't want to be like. And so your anger of standing up to get out of your car is to save people. It would get to me. No, it's your yes. anger. Fuck off. I'd no, be like, dude. do you realize what you're doing? I, I but don't. I don't want to insult them. Don't get out. Get like, out of your car to some, do what? To start a fight? Like, no, I don't want to start a fight. I'd be like, what is wrong with you? If you're giving into the rage, you're if you're at fault. This is the only place in any Hold situation where I would thought. be like that. Hold the thought. Oh God. Don't worry, Sam. She doesn't bite. Glad you made it. She's a cutie. Yeah. I was expecting something terrible. Well, like, she's cradling a fucking BT baby. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know. He's hungry. There's... What the... There's issues. Can we spray some blood on it? That's a bad idea. Baby won't like the blood. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. Mama. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. Not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. Whoa. It's like some kind of pro-life horror story. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> right? Feels like something I'd, 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 a message I'd get from church about like what happens. <laughs> oh my so god! Much. When you go to that clinic, they follow you for the rest of your life. Do you think the grown-ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the super. Don't nod at me. <laughs> nope. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. That's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least proof. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times? Yeah. HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum. You think Mads is from but that era? With a little effort. Or is he just using it? Figure out where you were sent. Another Cairo spy. So he escaped there? No, uh, he's, he knows about BB stuff. Exactly. I think he's just using it. I think he's got dooms. She's been crying more at night. I think that was his... Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more chirelli. Oh. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so... What? I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. At the expense of Looks the like environment. The limiter on yours is faulty, though. 
the more connections we bring online. Maybe related to all this. Hmm. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, yep. we might be in for more temporal yep. phenomena? Maybe. That's a possibility. But people will feel good, though. They won't be lonely. Or worse, they cause another death stranding. Uh, but you got a solution. Of course, I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. Okay, now do you still like? Oh wait, hold on. Let's let's hear the solution first. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Like, if the risks were that high to, from the get-go... Um. Great. Crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. Yeah, um... <laughs> no can do. That's easy. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. God. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. It's like talking All to right, a client, like, a put my anyway. website on the internet. Oh, mm -hmm. Just do it, it should be That's easy. Right. Sam is like, once you make my website, you'll update it for me forever, yeah. right? And make it work with Google. No, that's that's a webmaster. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> what am I paying you for? You made the website, now keep updating it. <laughs> The other side wants her back. Yo, Maybe get thee behind me, Satan. She wants to go back. This is some wicked postpartum. Best, like, we can't mm. like this. That much I know. Like, can she let it Tell go? Maybe. She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. Okay, that's the story. Then the terrorists hit us. Are you claustrophobic? Yep. Nothing to do with. Wait. And wait. <laughs> Felt like forever. But no one came. They said air and water. Pretty Sorry. fucking terrified. She's making until dawn faces. I gave birth there in the rubble. But instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. Oh. 
together ever since. That was like a demo for facial mo capture, motion capture. The ties that bind her to this place bind me too. You could say I've never really been discharged. Okay. You're okay with that. Ghost miscarriage. No, she's yep. gone. That's all you have to say. You want to talk about death. baggage? <laughs> yeah. <Come on. laughs> you want to talk about fucking you baggage, dude? Holy you shit. You chose the dead over the living. Why else would you be here? I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already bleed me in my sleep. That was intense. Big cold, didn't you? Just a second. Still interested? <laughs> there. Oh, now you ask? <laughs> Bro. Mama, are you? Let's say it worked out the best possible way it could. In your most private and precious moments. I'm sorry. A ghost sorry. baby would be watching. Oh. Yeah. I gotta get to work. Oh, could you? No, I can't. Could you? I can't. <laughs> he can't. He says. No, I cannot. I forget what I said about Kyle's bikes. It's reconnecting the Put it on the record. <sighs> Maybe we're making things worse. It's not Maybe even not. like the baby's crying in the other room or behind the door. It it's is like right crying, there. Still attached. Luck, that baby's also like 10 years old. <laughs> or whenever that happened. It was certainly not a baby <laughs> lifetime ago. It was a while ago. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. Damn, that was really intense. Actually. Yeah. It's okay, Reggie. I don't disagree with you. I'm just blowing you up because it's funny. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> but you're completely right. Oh. It would be a very, Sam, very bad situation. Your next objective is to bring Mountain Nut City into the network. But I like this Mama. She's cool. Take you to yep. a way station and on to a distro center north of the city. From there, it gets tricky. You'll have to take a detour to get around the mountains. Still won't be using this cupid on the way? Software's not been rewritten yet. It's fine. If you link up Mountain Knot City after your Cupid is fixed, the update should filter through the network, stabilizing the connection. It's just one more reason to get there ASAP. But for now, make do with the Cupid you've got. I knew there was some shit going on that way. None. We'll just have to hope she's all right. Right in the mountains. Because you see where the road forks? Anyway. I started I started building up on the fourth too. Oh. And good luck out there. By the way, Sam, I've added a zip line schematic to Yes. The Figured it would come in handy. All you need to set one up is at least two anchors. Nice. Why bother carrying cargo across a river or up a steep hill when you can just send it through the air? Am I right? If you want a little hands-on experience, you can use the anchors outside my lab. Have yourself some fun. Yeah, I wonder how that works. Yes, yes, yes. The good news is, Fragile's available and willing to lend you a hand. Oh, finally. If you want Fragile to send you, you'll need to head to a private room. South Knot City looks closest from what I can see. It'll be a lot quicker than walking, that's for sure. But you can't take any cargo with you, so there's that. It's up to you. Just remember the options there if you need it. I made a road, baby. I'm good. <laughs> You're talking as if I didn't rebuild America. That road is fucking shiny. All right. She said there's one outside. Yeah, I wonder how it works. Like, do you have to like set up like is the it first spot and the end spot and then it is works? It, it, or? it might be a PCC tool, right? Uh, if anything, uh, let's see. Any uh, any new icons? Mama's lab. Nope. Okay, well, let's just try to find the ones that she was talking about. Uh, hmm. These are flies, eh? Where was she talking about, I wonder? Let's do a quick little scan. Oh. Ah. That way down there? 
Would that be it? I, I get maybe. Okay. Okay. So I guess it looks Here like a field go. goal. Yeah. Zip line. Oh. Huh. Uh. And this needs. It takes chemicals and special alloys. Okay, chemicals uh, are new. I did not have those. All oh right. wow! Okay. So yeah, it's this little field goal over here. Yeah, more stuff to pick up. Let's try it out. Um, bike is faster, but truck is mine. Next time we start up, we can change up these colors. I mean, we have multiple trucks. We're out. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. That's... That's really rough. That's pretty rough. And, and... I mean, I don't know who knows how long she was in there. But... Yeah. What's, what do they say? Like, uh, three days without water, three weeks without food? She doesn't even know how many days passed. Yeah. Zip lines enable the distance between two anchors and to be covered quickly and safely. Use uh, start to select structure menu. See a list of functions available at various structure levels. Okay. You're needing... Oh, this is just to improve the durability. I see. Uh, max connection slot added. Time fall resources boosted. Okay. So what do you connect it to right now? Nothing? That's what I'm wondering. Like, how does it connect you? Does, does it teleport you? Or? Is it possible? Yeah, maybe the zipline doesn't have a... Use zipline. Oh, wait, here we go. Whoa. Oh, there oh. it is. Wow! Holy shit. Zip to the other end. Select destination. Oh! <gasps> Zip lines are God busted! That is godlike. Oh my god! Yo! Okay, game changer. Game changed! Zip lines are amazing! Holy fuck! Wow. This rules! That was sick? Wow! But yeah, so I had to run by this court, this little thing not knowing which way to go or what was going on here for a while. Yeah. And all you know is right here it says the thing is nearby. But now it's not that big of a mystery because like what you had to do was so I, so you you'd go across and you'd see like just this cavern, right? But what was not clear was that um there we go, buddy. Oh. There was a little drop right here. Wow, that's sneaky. Yep. Yeah. And so the thing about this is that if you're on the ground, you cannot tell it's there. Yeah. This is the collector. You send him and you bring him a bunch of, like, again, old PlayStation stuff, old PSPs, old consoles, etc. <laughs> and uh, he, if I can go back to the capture gallery here, is actually the editor of Famitsu magazine. Magazine. Wow. So it's one of those bits where you're like, oh, I hope he doesn't give it a 40 on 40 because he's <laughs> in it. You that's know? what I was thinking. I'm like, well, that's kind of a sick yeah, vibe, that's, you know? That's a, it's pretty much, it's putting Ebert in your Godzilla USA movie as the mayor of New York, you know? It's pure fucking bribery. Oh, man. I suppose you've piqued my interest in the outside world somewhat. Very well, Sam. Make me a part of the UCA. So, that's the you know, that's that's the dude. Not much else to it. He doesn't have any big introduction or anything like that. He just says, "Bring me some PlayStation portables." Then you do. And to be honest, the idea of delivering these collectibles um, and someone having the setup to even play these original games, and they don't want them emulated. They want the classics. Curious. That's pretty wild. I respect it. And uh, I would respect it even more if it wasn't a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> Deliver us. Oh, hey. Sam. Sam Bridges. Uh, welcome the to the Wandering MC. That's Conan O'Brien. Oh, well, thanks for making the trip. 
I've always wanted to meet you. I know what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head? Or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> well, both. Actually, the otter's a member of the weasel family. I have weasels in my family, but enough about my brother. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Man, you are tough. <laughs> the crowd. Hey, did you know that otters can survive without land? Oh, yeah. They eat, sleep, even give birth all in the water. The only thing they can't do in the water is drown. <laughs> Such good swim, swim I say. Okay. Wow. You laugh about as much as this guy. Hey, by the way, you should have this. It'll help you. <sighs> All right. Don't worry about me. I've got an otter one. <laughs> Come on. Come on, otter one? That's pretty good. Come on. Oh, man, you're the only audience I've had in like 12 years. <laughs> Clueless Gamer makes his appearance. Thank you for literally putting in an entire segment just for Conan to air it on his own show. That's all that's there for. <laughs> <laughs> Damage almost ruined. Ruined. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And <laughs> baby is crying. <laughs> of course the baby would cry. <laughs> Come on though. Come on though. Super worth it. Super worth it. <laughs> Tell me that was an awesome. That was great. Yeah. What about, like, avoiding the, the attempted murder rap by shooting them in the leg? <laughs> like, uh, like Ashy Larry in the fucking dice game, you know? <laughs> what if you just aim beneath the waist so that nobody can say it was attempted murder? <laughs> Fuck a mule, what's he gonna do? Get a chiral wheelchair? Like, raw, you're done. Your, 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 your delivery days are over. <laughs> And you are no longer a problem. Oh, they would find a way. Yeah. How good is your fucking electric spear aim now, bitch? <laughs> I would definitely, like, start a mule company somehow. I'd be like, hey, you're looking for stuff? I know exactly where you have to go. Just work for me, I'll tell you where to go. Mm -hmm. Deliver anything you want. You'd be a shit bag want. in the in the future. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, well, then you'd be the first to go. And by go, I mean I won't kill you, because that's a bad void out. But I'll fucking you'll shoot me. In I the will knee. turn I will turn you into a hot dog, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like Biggie Small said, shoot your daughter in the calf muscle. <laughs> Damn, buddy! <Blake. laughs> wow! <Yeah. laughs> I will remove what? How you gonna? How you gonna steal my my deliveries if you ain't got no arms, Reggie? <laughs> oh man! How you gonna run up on me with no legs, son? I mean, you can still pay me for protection, you know. You don't void out if you ain't got if you're as long as you're alive, right? That's the rules. The rules say that it's all about death, so you don't die. We'll put you on life support. Yeah. We keep you beeping. Hot dog and vegetables. Hot dog, yeah. <laughs> Make a little nugget. That's what's up. Or better yet, like, uh, uh, um, medically, like, 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 induced coma. You know? Oh gosh. Just put you in a vegetative state and keep you breathing. Sure. Harvest my organs. No, that's death. That would be bad. We yeah, don't, I don't need to keep everything. You know? We want you alive so that you don't blow up. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Okay. Your work is great. Oh man, I wanted to... Uh, Go to your room. I wanted to do the... the I had a memory chip to, to thing. <laughs> Fuck. Not yet. Dropping your stuff off at the garage. 
Nice lay down. Yeah. When you put the shades on, it changes his hairstyle too. So oh. if, you, if you do hat shades, hat only, shades only, you get, you get a bunch of different uh, looks. Oh. Oh God. and his people came. They finally reached Edgenoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your Kipu, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Shit. Time to drink beer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Oh. Yeah, I need it. And the new version that we were able to create is the ride type. Okay. Inspired <laughs> by the TV show Ride with Norman Read It. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I think Hideo's imagination gets the best of him. And I think he, I feel like he has day, daydreams a lot. Oh my god. What the f <gasps> Yeah, do that. <laughs> that is so fucked up. Yeah. Gathering crystals by completing deliveries um, and uh, picking them up off the oh, ground, man, yeah. not good enough, right? Going around shooting BTs, get you some crystals, not good enough. So what do you do? There is one way. Fucking with death. <laughs> Essentially. So, shooting them, you get a little drop. Getting pulled in on purpose. Oh my god. Right? Activating the actual boss fight. And then fighting the boss properly <gasps> with whatever tools you get. Is the way you've got to go about getting crystals. Right? So the whole thing is, of course, is that when they drag you, you drop almost all your shit. Yeah. And you don't know what you're going to have on you when you make it out, right? So, but you want to get grabbed. Um, I was trying to figure out if there's a way for me to, like, kind of hold on to one thing in specific. You yeah. know, I was trying to figure out the... I was, see, I was trying to see if I could game it. I don't think you can. I've done it enough times now. It feels like every time this sequence starts... <gasps> you get pulled away from your shit. Thankfully here, it was close enough by. So this was the one we fought that first time. Yes. Over right right across from the, the city. And the technique 
they told it to you. It's pretty straightforward. You grab a uh, hematic, and, and then, then you, you unload it. on the spot. And then oh, that is a chunk of that. That's the life bar. But uh, as long as it's red like that, that means the bullets are gonna do what they do. Uh, I think I just went for it here. Uh oh. Yeah. God. Uh. Yeah. Blood bag empty. Nice timing. Ew. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of crystals. And, get, and it looks up to the sky. And then it drops a fuck ton. And this is how you do it. Oh. Right? So you get like wow. upwards of a thousand in like one drop. I mean, I mean, look. Are you running out with your picker out? Body fluids are body fluids. Right? And as you can see, I have a lot stored up. <laughs> I have a high volume stored up. And he hates it. He hates it. He's running away. <laughs> so he started stomping towards me. And then I started fisting. And then, it, and then the, the BT was like, what fuck out of here. So now we get into the fucking hills, bro. <laughs> and the hills get kind of stupid. Because now we get now we're getting eldritch. This eldritch is looking creepy. Already. Yeah, yeah. The 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 hanging, the hanging chiral on the roads looks really like horror in, uh, 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 themed, and I actually like I like the effect. You know, at first I didn't get what was going on, but like when you see it at in the fog at a distance, you're like, oh, this is concept art. Yeah. Right. This is Kojima creating a world out of concept art. Hey. How do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. What? I thought you people would figure that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right, enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Knot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. So you speak for the city? That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Hot damn. Former Bridges one. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. Good work. Oh, wow. <laughs> Someone says, okay, bitch, at least sign this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this instead. That is stable, that is healthy. Hey! Oh, beautiful. I love it. Just wonderful. Doctor. <gasps> Hot Springs! Time to pick a dump. The hidden body digestive bat. Right in. Fuck introducing yourself. I don't care what's going on inside there. We need to fucking chill. Digestive system, all that good shit. Whatever. Everybody. Yep. Detox. Now you can maybe get your fucking wish. Yes! That was a clean slope. 
uh, attached to the light. Wait, too much snow? You have to go in the crease? Oh, here we go. Yeah! Oh, that was fun. Alright, alright. We did it. Now every time. Every time I see it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. You, no. <laughs> oh god. Okay, didn't go too far. Uh, <laughs> you motherfucker. Alright, attach it. Let's get a move on. Great. Alright. Aim for the rocks. Oh, that's smooth. Oh! Push and patter, baby. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Nice and easy. So cool. Hey, you're doing well. Uh oh. Oh, nice dog. Because we're fucking doing it, bro. Zip lighting. Like, Dude, this helps so it's much. It's so good. It's so good. And just like that, Mama's house. From the fucking weather station, we're in there. Didn't have to touch a road, baby. That was kilometers and kilometers of just no nonsense. So much that the game, the game is the game, game is like, yo, you got here way too fast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that feel good? Didn't that feel good? That was great. Like, once I touch my fucking network, once we get back to my home base, where do you want to go? Count 30 seconds, we're there. If only public transit could be this if efficient. If only. Hello? Hey, Sam. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. Really? These are your new cufflinks. Oh. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void up. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win-win. A little ironic coming from the one who's still umbilical attached. Yeah. So did you cut you, yours? Did you use it on yourself? <laughs> no. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Okay, so we got stealth takedowns on our BTs. Just like on people. Snipping super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. Oh. Cut the cord connecting us. Well, I spoke too soon. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Sam, set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. 
even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No, that part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lochna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm and I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me, but then there was the attack and our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her, but I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her, but I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Can't be tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. He didn't have to do any talking. He just walked in and she was already... Right there. Yo, BB's like, only room in this town for one of us. <laughs> baby battle. Like Maggie and that baby with the fuzzy yeah, eyebrows. Yeah, the eyebrow baby. Oh, okay, I gotta do it myself, do I? What? What was that? Goodbye. I... Was that like her ghost? Take me home to lock me. Yeah, you saw you saw like the mother too, right? Yeah. What was that? Sam, <sighs> would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light, the touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Who'd have thunk the third boss was a ghost abortion? Oh my God. I wouldn't have. <laughs> Surprise, prepped and everything. Oh, oh man. 
but it looks to me like your hands are full. <laughs> it's no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. Ah. Oh, what the shit. Okay, so actual boss then. He looks hungry. It's cleaning itself. All you gotta do to make it out alive is not get eaten. Sound like fun? Of course it does. Are you not entertained? Oh, dude, I don't have the equipment to fight this thing. Well. Run where? Dodge. Get off me. Do not touch me. Oh, that's dark. Are we good? Pigs just showed up and now we got mask faced yeah. BT beasts. Kind of crazy. Um, I must give so much cowl crystals. Oh, probably. It, yeah. Probably, yeah. It also feels like it's probably um, going to be. Like, it looks like a Persona boss. Like some of those bosses in early Persona have, uh, in like three, have like the little mask on. And it's very much in that vibe. Man, it's been such a long time since we've taken a dip in the hot spring. What there a good excuse, go. right? Totally. God, I barely remember. When's the last time you've been in a hot spring, oh. Beavy? <laughs> yeah. Beavy's laughing. <laughs> now this is living. Yeah. Loved it. Loved it. Soak it in, Sam. Soak it in. There you go, Mama. Feels like I just repatriated. Nice bond. Time to go. That sure hit the spot. Thanks, Sam. I got you. I got you, Mama. You're welcome. Mamacita. <laughs> <laughs> we knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy was her joy. Her pain was my pain. Still got it. I knew the sins was too great for us. <laughs> Some might call it a kind of telepathy. <laughs> Join the spirit. Yet each, just for us, when we share our own private chiral network, you might say. With cupids, they can build one that will let everyone share what Lachna and I have. I feel so fucking cool right now. This should be on ride with Norman Reedus. A network that could unite everyone, no matter how scattered or different. What can't you do? You make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold. I didn't share. Share. I wonder if anyone's watching. <laughs> Sam, come on. We finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life, Lachna wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. 
She's close. Thank you, Sam. I feel whole again. You and me, sis. Me and you. Okay. Sorry, there you go, speed demon. <laughs> hey! 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 Anyone? Over here! Over here! Anybody hear me? Zero fucks given. Oh, Sam! Dude, did you hear any of that at all? Sam's just, he's in delivery mode. When the porter is porting, he cannot hear you. Bum, 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 bum. He is too fucking locked in. Too good at his job. How dare you open up and have a conversation with the porter, the great deliverer, in the middle of delivery. Sam, I have big trauma inside of me. You just literally aborted her child. And she's going on and opening up in her heart of hearts. Sam, you're not listening. Still got it. There you go, speed demon. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh, man. Hey, when you, when you order Sam to get you the job done, he done done it good. Perfect. There you go. This package was talking. Sign here. <laughs> Anybody order a sister? Ring and no. Could you sign here? <laughs> just, just before you. Could you, could you uh, I, mm, sorry, I don't want to interrupt. Make the world whole, okay? Just like you make me. Talking over her fucking final words, yep. Sam. You were talking over her final moments, you jerk. Fucking. I feel like I'm on a ride. <laughs> Norman Reedus. <laughs> just literally the moment. It just, uh, uh, handing over the fucking star and. Sam just ba 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 ba. <laughs> what a jerk! Oh man! Come on! All that she went through, I 
had no idea. I thought... I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Oh. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her ka passed over to the other side, but her ha remained bound to our dead daughter. That's what we saw. She knew all of this. Of wow. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing our vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. Oh my. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. And Higgs was like, I know you got like 30 seconds left on the clock, but let's fuck with you anyway. Yeah. Going into the fucking, the terminal ward, starting fights with people that have minutes left on the clock. Like, really? Really, bro? The following episode of Death Stranding is basically going to be an audiobook. So we're reading through the files. So uh, we're going to have some fun discussions. Data, interviews, interviews. Yes? Tips and interviews. Holy moly. That's a lot of reading. Talk about the need to del like the need to deliver becoming a disorder is the most like the world of Pokemon is all about the Pokemon. <laughs> the world of Yu-Gi-Oh revolves around Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. The world of Thing is all about the Thing. That is the most world of Thing all about the Thing thing I've seen in quite a bit. Where we're de this game is about delivering, so the idea is the villains and the people are affected by their need to deliver. The apocalypse was not so bad that we went back to basic resources being scavenged for. We all had enough food and water and, and the ability to survive, but we were all just bored and lonely. <laughs> the biggest crime of the apocalypse is that the internet shut down yep. and we all got 404. Oh God. On every page. Playing the dinosaur game we have on no, Chrome, you know, that's, waiting for signal. That's humanity's biggest issue. <laughs> Alongside the fucking Death Stranding, of course. But <laughs> the, we're all offline and we're bored. And we have enough food and water to survive with. But shit sucks, dog. Damn. What am I supposed to do without my hentai? <laughs> So the Egyptians' beliefs are real. <laughs> In one yep. sense, without ever explaining it, it's like the Egyptians believed <laughs> this. But now the facts have changed. Like, are we just gonna hand wave the part where we're like, hold on, wait, what? So it's real? The ha and the car are real? But the process itself has changed thanks to the Death Stranding. In our normal order of things, when death occurs, the soul vacates the body. Yeah, souls are scientifically proven here, okay. <laughs> So they are preventing reanimation, in a way? They're unable to leave, they're stranded yeah. to their bodies. The connection yeah. is too, too real. Yeah. And, uh, so burn the fucking vessel. So that they can float away. Wow, okay. And the beach is a part of the process. So the beach is literally a place that like, they can't, because they're talking about the beach is like the thing that they're also using to like, you know, make the internet as fast and as amazing as possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> But it's actually like you gotta go there before you move beyond. Uh, it's a it's a limbo of sorts. Hmm. It has been theorized that BTS are mirror images of ourselves. Were we to exist in the same point in time of space, our shapes, as it were, 
would not overlap neatly onto one another, save in reflection. And when our particles meet their opposites, a voiled doubt occurs. The new form of communication we have devised utilizes speeches, which are akin to mirrors reflecting this world and the other, hence the term chiral network. It was always there, chirillium, and the only time that we were aware of it was when it merged with the living people, with the BTs and everything. And it's unaffected by time entirely. Yeah. Yet somehow running Stadia on it still creates lag. Eh. Mysteries that will never be solved. It's broken on launch. There you go. So since we have dooms, it seems that we have a resistance to the chiral contamination. And which Carol is equivalent to like a high stress level. Yes, and makes people go fucking crazy. Word. Like the homo demens. Uh, which, of course, stupid brain goes demons like demons, and it's like, and no, no, it, no. It, it demented. As in dementia is, the, is the root word. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. Um, the chiral radiation. Uh, makes it so that just yeah anyone else that's basically a, a, a anyone that doesn't have dooms that's trying to carry shit around and and move throughout the world is pretty much at risk so it makes porters extra special if they have dooms got it okay this going this is going into like like i bet you he definitely has like a huge lecture on like this the hard science of this ther of this theory but turning it into likes and where it just makes me go like so then why don't you just have a little number with a thumbs up next to it and sometimes it'll go up but it won't be real. Yeah. Why wouldn't what's the difference between a fake like and a real like? Right? There why you can't go. you just can't you just fake it and make people feel good? And it's really scary because like um, maybe I've spoken about this before, but you know when you have a plan like, oh I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. I have plans of doing this, and you talk about this plan to other people and they go, that's really good. I hope you go through it. Like, this is a great idea. Good on you. Mm -hmm. And your brain goes like, yeah, validation. It's almost as if I've already done the thing that I was going to do. And there is a higher percentage of chance of you dropping and not doing that thing. So if you have plans to do, keep that shit for you. Just get down, do it. Make sure that it's tangible. Don't feed off of other people's approbation. Let's say we tell everybody exactly what the next uh, 20 LPs are going to be, right? That pop of the moment that they, you hear about it the first time is not going to be there when we finally get around to that 20th one yeah. all the way down the line. It's just going to be impatience, if yeah. anything, and possibly even disappointment. Why didn't you get around to doing it already? Like, where you is know? it? And, there's, and, then, and not only that, but like, even though you've kind of put something out there and you're, you're forced to stick to it, like, yeah, there's definitely, like, things where if it's a more creative project, like, you're totally robbing yourself of the motivation, you know? If I were to talk about not LPs, but something like Kirby Lore or, or, you know, some other type of idea that I have for a really great project and I started putting the ideas out there and people went, oh, my God, that's hilarious and took the ball and ran with it, then I don't have to yeah. go forward and do that stuff, you know? Right. So it totally is something that comes down to, like, the, the, the shock value, the surprise, and the way we operate is really important. That is putting some massive assumption on the, on the importance of the soul, you know? But, uh, so a beach is something that we all individually have, yet it's connected by a multiverse. So we all share the beach, but it's not the beach, it's our own beaches. Damn. Okay. Over okay. Over overlapping beaches? Overlapping beaches but we all have individual ones. Yeah. So they're instances, but they're instances overlapping so that they're effectively the same as a town in an MMO. So it's not an instance at all. Doesn't matter how you feel about it. At some point, you're going to drop dead and rot in a box forever. And you know Become what? food. The rest of the world will be fine without you. Everything oh. continues. I'm okay with that. Nothing will matter it might matter a little bit for a fleck <laughs> but in the grand scheme who gives a shit i'm already ready I'm, I'm ready to go on to the other side i'm good so here's the question if you could step into uh a device that could like teleport you to the farthest ends of the galaxy right 
and like and or make you experience things in places that you could never get within your lifetime right but it didn't teleport you it killed you and then it made a copy at the other end that lived on as you with the same age and body cell and knowledge okay right and that kid that reggie could go on to explore and discover amazing things and whatever and then come back right via a third new copy because that thing gets killed at the other end okay. and then there's a new you come back and you copy right would you be down for that why not i i don't see anything like that would be why not because you don't ha it's not your consciousness you that you experience right, right now this is another person entirely. your existence comes to an end so the, my, my soul my cod is not travel you walk into that machine and it becomes black forever you as you are will never know the results but you know that the you from the other side will continue on as you but it's a copy of you it's not the you that you are so your 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 line of of, of consciousness ends there Are you okay with that? Are you okay with better things happening as a result of you being the cue ball that hits the pieces and uh, that hits the, the rest of the balls for the best result, but then we have to take your piece off the table? Yo, this is some Star Trek shit. Are you... Yo, you beam me up. Am are I you, the same person? Are you able to... And, th and that's the question, right? So there's, there's even a fucking Star Trek episode where there's like a copy that gets like left behind uh, 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 on a planet of a dude because like... There was a, a something wrong, something fucked up with the transporter, What? and they made a and they made a second clone of somebody, <laughs> and like in the end, you're like, yeah, that's not you, that's another copy of you. Too bad for that guy, you know. And like that's that's the stuff that, that those episodes get into. But I don't know because I'm not a yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not fully on it. But oh my god! But this is the question: for selfish purposes, is it more important to you that your line of of consciousness continues, or that the better result occurs in the end? Do I have the right to die? This are, is basically are what you, you're... Are you okay with dying for yeah. a greater good? I mean... But you don't have to. You can just live a normal life. But would you cut your life for short? For a greater good? You cut your life short for a greater good of the Reggie that I, goes I think, and comes back. I think... Assuming that I was the only person that could do it, I would do it. You know, like, we need... Like, in the 15th century, we needed people to go out on boats yeah. and go to... And where the hell and you don't know what's you don't going know. you don't know yeah. you don't know but you need people to do it I think could it be that these creatures developed legs in order to swiftly return to the safety of the sea when stranded damn <laughs> damn <laughs> okay 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 the yellow highlighted text is a direct connection to Koji brain right whenever you see a highlighted yeah. piece in yellow This is something Kojima thought to himself sitting at a table in a coffee shop somewhere over the last five to ten years. Yep. Hmm. Trauma causing evolution. And uh, the, the desire to return to the safety of the sea, not unlike a baby to the safety of the womb. Mm. It's all connected. Mm. There's a connection. Wow, okay. Deep words, deep words. Or, basically, Kojima could be putting forth that the entire evolution and history of mankind is based on a back down. <laughs> on extreme cowardice. You got those legs so that you could <laughs> back down? You thought it was about advancing forward nope, bravely? Nope. You wanted to run away, <laughs> and you just fucking <laughs> pop these things from under you. You weak fish motherfucker. <laughs> you fucking weak fin, fin rejecting Bro. piece of crap. Our entire history <laughs> is that of cowardice <laughs> and John's. Eat the bugs to resist the time Damn. fall. The fuck is that about? And these bugs are immune. Maybe it's maybe it's Kojima making reference to how everyone wants to put stuff in their mouths as a kid. You take use your hands to reach out and everything's oral fixated. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm Shout down with these hand movements there. <laughs> Shout outs to fictional bugs in, in, in video games like uh, in Monster Hunter. Mm. Uh, there's literally uh, scout flies 
which are like fireflies that kind of oh they light the path they, and they light the path and yeah. they help you track to monsters yeah and it's literally just a tracking system except instead of using arrows they use in world bugs to yeah. explain how the path works and why it's a pretty cool thing in a world where you don't want to go outside you don't want to be connected to other people but the outside itself is lonely Porting is the loneliest thing you can do. Yeah. Sam Porter Bridges is the ultimate hikikomori. Yep. And the outside world <laughs> is his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> the empty barren wasteland is the loneliest, most isolated place you can go. Leave food on the floor near my door. Oh my god. <laughs> Take my, my garbage out, mom. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's one of those funny, interesting ones because it's like, there's always been like shut-ins and hermits and people that like, you know, don't want to fucking leave uh, the, the, the small space they're in. Yeah. But like, that one developed into such a specific Japanese way due to things in society and it's almost like the... Um, it's almost like, you know how learned behavior is a thing? Like, like, like in the sense that like, like, you kind of have to learn about the, this idea. It has to be put out into your thought before it becomes something that you're going to fall yeah. into. Like, that, like, it's, it's like that, you might not have done it if you have never, like, seen the experience con or conceptualized it. Exactly, yeah. right? So it's like, it's like that's what they have, right? Whereas, like, North America has, like, the, 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 idea, the conceptualized idea of, like, shootings, for example. It's not something that is occurring until someone does it. Yeah. And then other people go, oh, yeah. I can oh. go do that, yeah. right? Whenever they're having their breakdown. Um, it's, it's fascinating how these, these like, types of things can happen super localized to one country or to one area or one continent in, in a lot of ways because it's like, it just shows you how like, we are such creatures of like, follow fashion. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Examples need to be made before we fully... like internalize it and then once we do it becomes an automatic place we can go unwillingly simply because the example has been put into the ether but before anyone created an anthropomorphic character or drew anything <laughs> remotely resembling a cartoon animal what the fuck was a furry yeah these are the questions. Can't we just hook them up to a, a like a VR headset that watches a delivery happening over and over again? <laughs> like, can't it just be like the end of Clockwork Orange where everyone is just applauding, like Ava, and they're just like, yay! And you're just, you're bringing a box to a door and you're knocking on the door and the person's taking it and they're just like, thank, thank you. you. I like this. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Or sometimes it's like a briefcase with a heart in it, and the doctor is like, perfect timing <laughs> for open heart surgery as the table is behind them, you know? All these and, then every, and then everyone behind them just shoots off the fucking champagne like, yeah! Just play that in a VR fucking video over and over again, and then your mules are done. Wow, my pizza is here inside 30 minutes. Thank you very much. Amazing. <laughs> what a hero. When I was a little girl, my father told me that preppers were the people who decided long ago that they couldn't trust their nation to be there for them anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. If you're concerned, if you're going overboard with, this, with that in case things go wrong, it's a betrayal of trust in your nation. <laughs> well, then. I mean, I guess... But if that, like, I, Hideo, if I, if I might, like, I'm going to, I, before I go off on that, it's a hilarious premise to put forth, but it's just like, right, okay, so is it, what, at what point do you start to, like, lose faith, you know? Like, you have the concepts that you agree with, and then you look at a list that says there have been more uh, mass shootings than days of the year. <laughs> and you go, okay, well, where... What, where's my, what, <laughs> confidence. They wanted walls along their borders. They wanted to turn away from refugees and outsiders. Oh, oh, oh. 
How do you like that for, for discourse? Bruh, how, the, how do you like that? Bit too close to home. Huh. I mean, we're, I mean, we're, 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 we're up north. I mean, we're, we're in another country, you know. We're I mean, you're up north, but what province are you in, though? Uh, the one where Mike Ward has to go to the tribunal. Some even wanted new nations all on their own. They began to see the state as the enemy of their freedom. Not a protector of it. Libertarians. Damn. Taxation is theft. <laughs> <laughs> the free markets will decide. Koji, where are you going with this? Uh-oh. When the clouds are there, they're the tell. And then you see an inverse rainbow and the air changes. It smells weird. And then you get a power outage. But... Not much. High of concentrations of chirillium causing electromagnetic interference. Okay, there we go. So when I hear a bunch of people out in the wild just being like, you UCA fucks are coming for our guns? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What do you need? We just want you to, we're just bringing you the internet, and with the internet, the power of teleportation. I don't know. How does that sound? Teleportation? Want to teleport our guns away? <laughs> <laughs> kinda. 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 <laughs> I literally, I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm not going to lie, bro. You got me. You, you got, got me. me. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, coming for those guys. You're too smart. You're too ah. smart. You're too smart, guys. <laughs> I just thought of something. Yes. In a world where Timefall existed and BTs existed, why would life not move underground? Why wouldn't we be drilling from city to city and just living completely under the earth as we do here in the core of Montreal. Huh. We live in, there's an underground city in Montreal and there's parts of Tokyo that are blocks and blocks and blocks of mall underground. Okay. I feel like we could 100% avoid those two threats by just entirely avoiding the surface of the planet. I wonder if the BTs can reach, though. Hmm. Is underground considered part of the beach? I don't... Well, I, the beaches are a hypothetical other area, yeah. right? But all of the buildings, for example, every time we go into a bunker, every time we make a safe house, it's underground. They're all deeper, yeah. So why don't we just drill... And go there. And drive and connect strands underground. And fuck the surface. The surface is dead. That means, though, that they're not collecting the water that the time fall drains. They're, they're letting the, the rain accelerate the fermentation process. That's complicated. I don't know. How do you expose it? Because you're adding water that adds time, but you're adding water. So you're diluting the beer in the acceleration of its, you know? Oh, but it's probably not like raw beer. I mean, you need the, the water... To ferment hops. With the hops and everything. Right? But what I mean is, time fall turns into normal water when it hits the ground. Yeah, when it stops moving. It's only when it touches that it accelerates. So the, the falling to touch process has to be part yeah. of the beer. Yeah, so how do they do time fall water? I don't into, know. Yeah, interesting. I don't know. We're not talking about a simple trade off between privacy and convenience. It's a network or bust, survival or extinction as far as humanity is concerned. That's an interesting take on it. You need it. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Being alone is not an option. Yes. Be monitored or die. Being sad and alone. But remember, you're, you're, you have all the food and resources you need. You can hide in your bunker forever, but loneliness is going to get you mm -hmm. like a parakeet. I'm still thinking about mastering the tech that is time fall into growing things. Yeah. Growing a tree, planting crops anything that you want time to accelerate anything plant-based basically or yeah. you know that's uh and i mean fuck like well yeah why can't you grow an embryo by pouring time fall on it yeah his name only compounds the insult have you heard of the higgs particle also known as the god particle yes i have it is associated with the higgs field which is what gives all other particles their mass without it atoms would fly apart uh, and matter would not exist as we know it. In other words, its very presence prevents the mindless destruction. Cosmic irony, indeed. Mm. Are we going to meet Boson? <laughs>
<laughs> the boss the boson i wonder if we're gonna meet boson so this is a really important one obviously um now there's been uh who was it who was it was it edison that said something or what the there's uh, it's, there was an inventor and i don't know who it was that's attributed the quote that basically says something to the effect of um like it's all, so basically that like everything that can be invented already exists it's just bringing that and bringing it out mm. you know what i mean it's almost like pulling it out of pulling its existence out of the air in a way okay. out of necessity right in the same way that it's like okay it's all these things that are happening in this game and there is a common thread we're seeing in a ton of these interviews and or and emails which basically is that all of this stuff already existed we don't know how the BBs work, but it seems like everything about this already exists. This is all shit that was there, right? And they even went back to ancient Egypt yeah. on, on some of those earlier ones, right? Yeah, with the Ha and the Ka. That's totally fine. And that is to be expected almost. It's not that something came in and, and, and added new plays to the game. It's that like our ability to recognize that those things are there was discovered, mm. right? But... That's not explaining like, the part that, that, that like, like understanding that, that like something like Kyrillium already existed slash all these other elements that came into play and beaches were always there is not the problem as much as it is what caused it to change its obviousness to us, right? And, um, yeah, and I'm looking at this description of Chiral Clouds in Timefall, for example, and I'm like, oh, that's not satisfying enough. Right, because I understand the ingredients of how you mix one with the other and the other, and like now we know that like Kyrillium as a single element is able to extract extrapolate its existence into all these different forms. Mm. Right, so you will we are seeing everything in this game almost almost everything in this game is is basically a Kyrillium plus this element of society or life or, or the planet equals this new result. Okay. You know? And if uh, time fall is the result of exactly that, right? Now it's all like, okay, great. So it, the real mystery just comes down to what and where this Kyrillium comes from and how it's come to be uh, such a constant. You know? Because... Um, if they're able to scientifically explain that, like, uh, the reason why we see a BT is because uh, we are connect that area is somewhat more connected to the beach. The reason why it's more connected to the beach is because time fall is affecting that. The reason where time why time, uh, the reason why time fall is happening is because of the cl Kyrillium clouds, right? It all it's going back to the same source point. Okay. Um, uh, our ability to go to beaches, our ability to like even recognize that they're there, all that stuff links to Kyrillium, right? Our ability to share information at this perfect speed and or essentially teleport and transport things by having all these beaches interconnected, again, it's like Kyrillium represents the access point of that. It's even used for the roads, for example, to be yeah. durable against the rain and things like that. So um, the mystery of this one item in, in the world is basically... The, the it's the one big question mark and everything else leading up to it is probably going to be just like yeah well we took sugar and 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 salt and poured it on kyrillium and got this new result from oh. it you know what i mean do you understand what i mean okay, i think i follow yeah. it's 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 it, it's the the <sighs> took i'm looking for another analogy in a, in modern life where the moment you realize this exists, that um, you can start thinking about how to apply it, and uh, I, I, I can't, I can't pull a decent enough analogy because, like, things that well, are. I mean, like, technically, like when they managed to like harness the power of electricity, that gave way to a lot more. It did. To it the did. point where it was all, almost like. It was taken for granted. To but you find were that electricity, is right? A thing. But but you didn't go back and then insert electricity into other aspects of life uh, that where it didn't exist, or like use it to explain things. You use it mm. explained lightning, yeah, right. But uh, and it, it explains uh, 
magneticism, electromagneticism, but like there's there's not a ton that you could apply that to in the natural world. Yeah. Do you understand what, where I'm coming from? Like in the natural world, there you don't get a ton of that per se. Yeah. Um, salt is one that applies to us, that applies to the natural world, that affects things in different ways and dries out the earth. If it's if it if it makes things unable to grow, if it's in certain areas, um, too much salt concentrated in uh, a particular patch of earth will literally change it from healthy living soil into dry, like uh, 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 unlivable, you know, unlivable earth. Um, there's all kinds, and then salt on it, uh, as it affects oceans will create salt water oceans versus fresh water. You know what I mean? Like salt as an item suddenly changes a lot of things once you identify what it is. Sodium, particularly, I, I guess I should say. Well, then you make you go back and look and go, oh, that water and that water are different. And we didn't know why they were different, but now we know they're different because we know this isolated thing. And then you can also add that to your food and add some flavor to it. And we know that your body needs to carry some of it. Yeah. And, we, and, and, like, and it affects taste and it affects uh, 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 like things and the, the ability for life to grow and it, it, it can melt ice like there's all these little things that come from identifying the natural item that is sodium in okay. a way right so in this case N A C L. yeah you know being pieced together was like a a, a, a solution that w- it was always there but we were able to isolate it so chirillium in some ways, is gonna all like I, I like a lot of the tech and mystery that we're seeing will likely be linked to that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hedge my bet in that direction. So the real thing is just like where the fuck is it actually coming from? You know, this grand horrible event has resulted in time fuckery. Like imagine if you take every human accomplishment on your stat sheet, right? You got your D and D stat sheet of like abilities. And you scratch them all out, but you gain one that's time fuckery. Now you have them all, plus yeah. more, right? In a way, uh, I'm gonna bring it up one more time, but because I've people have heard me talk about this before. But um, Plague of Gripes told me about a villain from a show, and I'm not gonna spoil for anybody that's possibly still going to or whatever. But it's a villain's motivation in a show that I found to be one of the most interesting ones I've ever heard, where. Uh, effectively, the short version of it is that the villain is um, doing a bunch of horrible shit to try and get the ability to uh, go back in time, right? Okay. Um, they, they lost something, I imagine, like a, like a fa- their family, and so, you know, there was like a tragic past, okay. and they've got, and they're on a war path, and basically doing whatever they can to get the ability to rewind time, right? And no matter how horrible the deeds they are doing in the present, oh. get, if you let me get to the point that... I can revert all of it'll that. It'll never have happened. So it doesn't matter how evil I am oh, now. Oh, that is sick. Isn't that the best? That is so <laughs> sick. Isn't, isn't that airtight? Yeah. It's like, please let me win, and this will all be okay. And it's like, no, but we can't, whatever the reasons are for resisting, it's like, but now you're making these bad things actually happen, Yeah. right? In my mind, none of these things happen because I'm going to undo them yeah. so I can get as awful as I need to in the process. It's really interesting. Wow. Really, really interesting. Fantastic motivation for a villain, right? Um, if Kojima is pointing at the fucking stands here before he Babe Ruths it, this might be an implication, perhaps, that, like, even though America's all fucked, gaining the ability to, one, transmit data immediately, two, literally fuck with time, means they can undo Control-Z the entire problem, and maybe more, right? We will go back to the way things were, and have the ability to go back to our origins and solve any problems we yeah. needed from the past. I mean, how awesome would it be to just be like, hey, what are you fighting over? Was it a problem based on what? Are you fighting over something that somebody in the past told you to do that we are now hundreds, if not thousands of year of years away from it? Yeah. Hundreds of years is the Constitution. Thousands of years is Jesus Christ, right? However the fuck you want to go with it, we can go back as far as you want to go and go see exactly what it looked like. 
and then go, oh, see, look, there it is. Now we know what to do. Yeah. And just end those problems, right? You could do a lot with time. You could do a lot with time, you know? But I, 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 it might be interesting to look at this whole thing in the frame of reference where you could actually um, get back everything and then, like, add the house pot to the pile because the one thing you gained, which is time control, yeah. time fuckery. That's OP. Is beyond OP. Yeah. So Kojima is simultaneously trying to let us know that don't worry, the threat of the the malevolent AI is not one we have to be concerned no Skynet. about. We don't have to worry about the Skynet problem, even though that was the entire premise of Metal Gear Survive, <laughs> which is hilarious. Why is Hideo Kojima being so patriotic in this plot? This is so staggering. I maybe I'm th- maybe I shouldn't think too hard about it. He's making the setting, and the yeah, characters. Yeah, maybe it's just these people. And the characters in the setting are doing what they believe in, and yeah. that's it. That's it. It's it's a very strange it's a very strange thing from the outside, but yeah, let's not overthink it too much. It's it's the lifeblood of every moment of this game is America. Hey, you mean it's hard to deny that America has a big influence on the rest of the world? The largest, know? yeah, in history, yeah. There's no, like, empire that had that much influence on the rest of the world. The, uh, the interesting thing, remember we talked, I had a, d- a conversation about this on a podcast once, but we were, like, I remember we were talking about, like, what would it be like for Americans to play a game that went this national into a different culture, right? Would it feel, and, like, and I guess you do that when you go into, like, you know, there's like whatever, like anything that goes hard samurai or uh, whatever. But something that is a completely like unknown, unknown to you thing that's way inside. Like, would you just bounce off? Would you just kind of go like, I don't understand what you're getting at here or where this is coming from? You know, where the national pride is is worn on its sleeve. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Someone brought up that uh, if. We lived in a world where anyone could make a nuke out of their microwave, right? Anyone could just take a microwave and make a nuke. At what point would it be worthless to start to try rebuilding cities? In the sense of just giving up? Why why even bother, right? Damn. You would have to find a way to survive around that. It's kind of like the gun problem. (laughs) But to the maximum, right? Just extrapolate to the end yeah. result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anybody, Nuclear bombs for everybody. Anybody, Oprah style. If anybody on a bad day has the ability to murder an entire city of people, and it's just that easy, right? Why, at what point would you just tap out from rebuilding? You know? Damn. Almost immediately. Because life has changed. The circumstances are gone. You know, it's just that it's, it's it is interesting to think about like terrorism in this world as like like any time you want something bad enough in this world, you have to threaten with violence, right? You know the stories about how um, when you say what is the law, like every time you make a law and you pass it, you have to be willing to kill somebody for it because of the escalation principle of a parking ticket. Are you willing to kill someone over a parking ticket? Does that sound worthy? No. Okay. But if someone refuses to pay your parking ticket, then what happens? Mm -hmm. They go to jail, but like... Well, they go to jail. How do they go to jail? Yeah, they need to be called... Okay, and then they don't answer. Court, they don't answer, and then there's a warrant for their arrest. And then after, you show up at their house. And then show up at their house. And then what? And then they might say no. And then what? And then after it comes to violence. Okay. That happens, by the way. Yeah. A lady got shot and killed for... Not paying a parking ticket and not showing up to a sub Exactly. Okay. That literally happened, right? <sighs> so, when you make a law that says, I'm giving you a parking ticket you have to play it through to the end because the results are going to be that... You're going to die. If you are willing to enforce this, are you enforcing it with the thought process that you're willing to enforce it all the way, right? Um, 
And that's like, does that exclude prison? Yeah, because if you have to get someone in the prison and they don't want to go, then it becomes a lethal situation. Then it becomes force. Yeah. Anytime a force is used, right? Mm -hmm. So in this world, force is, again, the way you coerce people into listening to what you have to say. Right? It's the way it's it's the violence is the rule of beasts. <laughs> right? We 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 threaten each other with bigger sticks to get each other to listen. Yeah. Now if the point that I get to is one where I refuse to listen to you no matter what, and you don't like that, then you're gonna have to take my life, which might result in in this world. Yeah. That is scary. It changes the dynamic of how you can threaten people and what you can do. Because anything's a threat. I can put a knife to my throat. <laughs> and that has different weight in this world than it does regularly. Yeah. You know? It, it's an interesting thought. It's, oh, it's an interesting gosh, thought. that is scary. Very. Nothing grows. So that undoes a bunch of theories right there that we were just talking about. But fermentation isn't necessarily the same okay well fermentation is growth but it's growth via um uh, 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 yeast decomposition or? right well not decomposition but like it, it, it's like accelerating rot you know so <sighs> interesting <sighs> controlled rot is this is part of the process so anything that you can age with that works with time fall, but actually accelerating and growing things is not, is not working. Mm. Okay. Well, what can we grow from bacteria? Penicillin? Antibiotics? Yep. Uh, well, it's necessary. Not really great, not farming that, that much. Can make some gr good ass uh, natto. <laughs> or or, or uh, I have yet to try it. kimchi. We could make some good yeah. kimchi. I mean, if anything, you'd almost think like. So here's the pro here's what I'm wondering, right? Are because mu mules have a bunch of stolen shit. Are mules delivering packages to the people that request them? <laughs> Yo, I got your package. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like are are the are the preppers that we see and we're friends with accepting deliveries from mules all day? Because a mule shows up like, hey, buddy, got a package you ordered. <laughs> you know, and you're like, yeah, thanks. thanks. Uh, Here's your your likes. Do I need to sign something? And... That's the, you know what I mean? That's the weird part. Close the door. <laughs> the person who's getting their package stolen, it sucks. But if you're getting your package delivered, like, you can't be that mad about it at the end of the day. You're, you're like, like, thank you. Well, I, I thought I was it. lost. Right? If, if, if. I killed someone to deliver <laughs> it to you. If fucking FedEx <laughs> jacked up a UPS truck <laughs> that was delivering my t-shirts, right? Just T-bogs it, bam, <laughs> runs up in the back, stomps the driver out, right? Raids the truck, fills up their own, and brings it right to my front door. What the fuck do I have to complain about, Reggie? <laughs> I'm taking a chance on you, Bridges. Not because I believe in you and yours, but because I want to. Don't let me down again, punk ass motherfucker. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. We, yep. we don't see that part. There of you the go. Email, but yeah. How you like that? Comments, thoughts, questions, How you like that? concerns. <laughs> Will the immigrants be taken care of? I mean, uh, uh, in America, you're talking about the wall within America, right? After the after the Death Stranding. Yes, certainly. Everybody's the same, bro. I don't know about law. you, but. All I'm saying is, if if we could affect, if you can contain the BTs by putting them in cages, then why not? Oh my god! BTs in cages means we all stay safe, but Reggie. The kids are already in the cages, though. The BTs in the cage means they can't attack you. So we throw the kids out in the wild. Uh, out what, of are the cages? what are you talking? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about BTs. I'm talking about putting the beached things that refuse to die. Inside of cages that Fair. cannot hurt us. Fair. And we stay safe. Right about that time that the chiral cloud started to form. And after that, all communication with the outside world went down for good. Yeah, that'll wipe a good a good chunk out. Yeah. You know? 
the 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 confu like anytime there's an apocalypse, it's like how little do you understand the apocalyptic event, and does the persisting threat is the persisting threat understandable? Yeah, right. If it's not, you are losing like half or more. There's a movie like A Quiet Place. Do you know A Quiet Place? Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, A Quiet Place is a perfect example because without going into any detail, noise is a problem. Think about how it's like it's like Fugu. Think about how many people have to die before you horribly perfect. before you understand that yo noise is the problem, right? You would never think that, yeah. but suddenly here we are. It's an interesting kind of event. So when I'm looking at this situation where you're just like everyone becomes a po- a personal nuke. <laughs> a, po- a pan-sized nuke, you know, clouds form that cause rain, and then the dead are floating around, and you can't see them. Yeah, but they can get you, and you can avoid them if you stop breathing. You, like, there's so yeah. many levels of like unknowable specifics <laughs> that you just die for if any you see little it fuck. The up. first time, you're like, oh, what the fuck? The second time, <laughs> the third time, the fourth time, you're dead. Yeah. The fifth time, you're dead. Right? It's gonna take. Like massive swaths of numbers wiping people out before you get the next level of like, okay, so it turns out they don't move until they notice you. Yeah. Okay, so it turns out breathing is what lets you. Okay, so it turns out they're they don't have eyesight. Okay, so you know what I mean? Like you have to and like how many people would have figured that out but still died to the third or fourth yeah. step? It's so fucked, you know. Blue is the color of death. Yeah. And that's why the whole game is blue HUDs with blue lasers, blue lights, blue technology, blue everywhere. Because this is Death Stranding. It's it's like, okay, you found a reason to connect these things together, but man, man, is that one of those like, you know, yeah, like the a specific example of of, of a specific case study. That just becomes the the, the, the piece de resistance, yeah. you know? If chiral crystals and chirillium cause all the fucking amazing things that we see to happen, yeah. and he control and his dooms is letting him do it, then that's that. Is that not that? I thought for a second they were trying to explain that the reason why hands are the formation that chiral crystals come in yeah. is because of this lore. But at the very least, they tail ended it with like, it's probably <laughs> bullshit. Unless... But what if, though? Names and theories are just ways of coping with things we don't really understand is a pretty heavy sentence. Because you need to define these names and theories afterwards. And if you don't know what the deal is, then you just stop there. And this is some random guy working for Fragile Express, by the way. <laughs> Who is this guy? I don't know, but I'm... He's so, just a stopper. So he's, he's the, the, the kid working at the front. Just do work in the cash, like, hey, so the thing you need to understand about the Kyrillium concentrations is, is it's, you know, the, the very concept of naming a thing is to take power over that thing because the uncertainty of the unknown is is a deeply mortal fear that we all carry. And we cut, cut them some slack. They just graduated. <laughs> They're trying to make it. The only reason why we categorize things is because we're trying to claim power over the unknown. <laughs> The deep fear of being alone and dying in the dark is one that uh-huh. humankind will never quite uh-huh. <laughs> overcome. Uh-huh. But the human condition, oh. <laughs> yeah, you got any orders for me? I'll, I'll have time for this shit. <laughs> and that's it for the interviews of the session. 